Oh boy. <coughs> Good evening. Salutations, everyone. Welcome to Calamine's Redstone. As you can see, we are in a nice little library today. Today's DM for today's afternoon is Mr. L. The one, the only. The one from Ravnica, they say, but that's hard to tell. Well, well, I better get my books ready and read them very well. <laughs> today's a good story today. We got many interesting people in my lovely saga. A good, good grouping of people that are all going crazy with the red stones I see in the chat rooms, but <laughs> we got a very good game today. I'm very happy that everyone was able to make it and that we are finally in Caldeline. Some things are strange in this world. Legends are not leading up to right calls to action. Many people were wondering what's going on. Others say it's hard to tell. At the moment, I am quite happy to see what happens to this tale. As everyone in this lovely snowy world, welcome to my world. And I hope you guys live. It's going to be a great game. I'm smiling as it is. <sighs> is everyone loaded in? Everyone looking pretty? Pretty as all good. Now. Exciting, exciting. <laughs> as all good tales start and all should end. We begin our tale with a lovely guard at a prison in Ward 8. Thank you, Kobu. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Kobu? No, no, don't worry about it. Just you work on fixing the map on the stream. What's wrong with the map? What the hell do you think is wrong with it? You done goofed, son. No, no, it's just zoomed in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it, every time when you when you switch to this, it always zooms in there. Some I know, that's why, that's why I'm making sure you know. I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, sorry. No one was saying anything. No, okay. no. <laughs> I'm just loading in the assets. Loading. I was the loading music. Fill oh, my me. favorite music. <laughs> I don't know why that song popped into my head. <laughs> Argus, put your character right over here, as you are on your guard duty there. That was a perfect um, noise. What? <laughs> I heard that popping noise. That was perfect. Oh, I didn't think that one would be hard. Please introduce your character. That was you? Yes. <laughs> Please introduce your character, and what are you doing right now? <clears throat> Oh, well, my character's name is Sigurd. He's a fair-skinned, 5'8", height, tall, human male, with a scar that stretches across diagonally of his right eye. Uh, he has medium-length black hair with kind of like white highlights that kind of come back into this Nordic-style knot. Um, he typically wears common clothes, but as of now, whatever the... Uh, Ward 8 guard uniform is he will be wearing that um, and he also has a what looks to be at the center of his neck a silver necklace that has two rings on it and um, and on the side of his uh, neck the left side he has like this kind of circular runic uh, symbol and uh, he is currently on guard duty so Currently on guard duty and uh, my lovely prisoners. As you're beginning your daily rounds, making sure that uh, uh, your friend is completing her daily task, uh, writing up letters and such, she is currently about to send a letter to someone quickly. And it's up to you what you wish to do, communicate, or do. Hey, Zill. I had a question. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, good morning, Zig. It's a good day. Good morning. Uh, he, like, kind of, like, looks down and, like, pats his uh, guard chest plate, I guess, if he's wearing one. Mm -hmm. Am I gaining weight? I hope not. I know that the, uh, the, uh, most guards get better 
uh, things of food. I'm perfectly fine with my vegetarian diet. <laughs> it almost feels like this thing's <clears throat> getting quite tighter on me. Ah, anyway, how's your day been so far? Oh, I've been uh, getting ready. A lot of new uh, messages have came, but I'm about to do, uh, send one to Erickson Winter really quickly. Oh, Erickson. Yes. I. It's, How are things with him? Uh, it's been a... Uh, from the reports that I got today, as she's like writing down, she's on her like she sits on the floor, kind of writes down stuff. They don't give her a table in their room. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's been very strange with the reports that came through so far, and uh, I need to confirm if uh, if these uh, reports are true. And uh, she's getting ready to cast sending soon, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, if you need me, I'll. You know, be over here, typically in my corner, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Say, they haven't given you a desk yet. As long as I've been here, they think they'd at least give you something sturdy to work with. It would be very appreciated if they gave me nice things. I think they assume that I might not live as long. <laughs> I know it's got to be awfully hard on the knees, but... Okay, well, I'll or leave you bed, to your business. Yes, it would be sick. Uh... Okie dokie. Sig, I need you to roll per perception check. I think we know how this is gonna go. Yeah. No. I won't yeah. know because roll 20 you jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen your perception rolls up until now. I just love, I, I love just the fact just everything else in your life has Ooh. this is Great forward. Military Bye. bearing. I do not glance at anything. <laughs> You're just like the shitty guard. Just like, I didn't see it. <laughs> You're perfect for the role. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. Um, as like she was beginning to cast her spell sending for the day, you notice that all of a sudden she stood up straight up. Very dead silent and quiet. All right. Gotta keep looking for doing guard stuff and monitoring the, the building and it's time for you to hear something as uh this is going to go very horrifying for you it's like she begins to like her head like kind of like crocs like she's been possessed in a very weird manner looking at you <sighs> gonna like does he notice i mean uh, yes, yeah. I. Uh, you're. Okay, okay. The, she's standing. It just took a little while. Yeah, she. You. So, did, you notice that she's kind of... standing. Her head cocks and looks at you. I'm gonna kind of just glance over, and then you know just straight ahead, and then kind of like one of them double takes. Mm -hmm. Zill, I. Something on my face. You hear the words of Eric's in winter. Where is my Bert? My body is all over. The voices of these tales have changed. I must eat the nameless. No, 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 no. Why must I lie? Pieces are here. My friend finds them. End this changing tale. Find the blue one. Find the pink one. End me and end me. End me. My hunger taken me. This mine is no longer. This is my goodbye. Finish this tale for me, Sig. I'm sorry it's such short notice. Gonna, like, kind of cautiously approach with his left hand out and just kind of, like, touch her on the shoulder real quick. Zill? Just to see if anything happens. At the moment, she falls down completely past that onto the ground. <clears throat> him you move closer not like 10 feet away <laughs> she's currently passed out i have showed you the the note that she written in her possessed state normally that in your years of working with zill and her general sendings and stuff like that this is the first that this has ever happened what the hell was that he's gonna drag her and just kind of uh let her uh, lean against the wall. About right here. Mm -hmm. That way she has something to rest on. And he'll take the note and kind of read it out of curiosity. To see maybe he can figure out what, hap what just happened versus 
maybe if that was like some kind of spell incantation or something that or whatever was going on in the note that made her act like this okie dokie uh uh what well, a skill that would be appropriate for this would be investigation 13 that's that's pretty high um from what you know what it seems like the besides knowing how uh the winter tales kind of speaks he speaks in kind of like a riddleish manner and it seems like for him his mind had before you met him before in your zero session he had like kind of like still was able to speak but it seems like his mind has deteriorated to the point that it so is and beforehand you knew he referred to you the pieces are now <clears throat> finally here meaning he knows that you are here and some other pieces are here and he's asking you to finally end this poor tale in your general investigation. This note wow. is not in Zilly's handwriting. Her handwriting has a different kind of texture. Well, this one looks like very more of a maddening writing that is not at all similar to her own usual work. And you've been around here and helped out and seen most of her notes in her work. And by pieces, I, I pick up that it's other people. Yes, as though okay. like 10 different people just written on this sheet of paper, but it's really not hers. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. I'm going uh, to pocket it. I'm going to pocket it. Do you, um, she's currently passed out. Do you wish to investigate the room of any other interesting ones? As you were in the morning shift, you weren't here for the night shift. Um. Yeah, I'm going to rummage through and see if any letters went out or came in from Brunhilde. Okie dokie, please roll me an investigation check. Knowing her, I will give you advantage because you have been here long enough. You didn't have to roll twice, but 11 is sufficient. If you rolled anything lower than 9, it would have been disappointing. Okie dokie, I will share you now the notes from Brunhilde. And do you plan to take them or copy them? I want to copy them. Okie dokie. And I will... Luckily enough, they are in... This wouldn't take too long as these are... 25 words or less. Any other notes you wish to take? Um... <clears throat> uh, do you get three different notes in your folder? Uh, let me check. I did. There you go. Um, the only other letter I would probably check would be if anything came from the interrogator, only because I know him more personally than a few of the others. Roll me another um, uh, investigation check. Oh, that's good. You notice as you're looking for the grand, uh, you see the interrogator's uh, letters and usually very pristine in her shelving. You also see a letter that also came from Thangborn. Usually Thangborn does not send stuff out. This is new. As well as a new one from Lilith. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely read uh, Thangborn's and Lilith's. Okie dokie before I see. And you're copying them down, or I assume. Um, yeah, just for... Or click glances also. Yeah, something. yeah, quick glances. Just to get a rough idea on what's going on. And then whenever you feel like the need, I will show this to all players. Because everyone has their rights into this world. But there you go. And did you get Thangborn? No, you did not. I did. I did get Thangborn. I got one of his. Yeah, he only has are. one letter. Okay, yeah, I got it. All right, I got I got the letters, including the interrogator. So I will... Um, oh, and you want Lilith back. as well. Yes, Lilith, though. Um, and then I will step back as uh, Zill's kind of just still resting. I'll go back over to my guard post. That way, if anybody comes in, I'll be, you know, Cardi already in position but i'll take a look at the letters as i'm just kind of waiting as she starts stirring from her slummerish and she i assume you put everything back in the exact same mm -hmm. order as it is uh i would allow this to be a sleight of hand check with advantage
Mm. Let me see if she notices that you rummaged through her stuff. That's a little low. Just a little low. Just a little bit low. There's a chance. <laughs> Wisdom. Mm. With disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> I love the changing reactions from you. Oh, it was supposed to be disadvantage. Oh, no, no, I mean Kuma. There you go. Yeah, seems like she did not notice in such. And um, she's like, uh, I think I'm going to turn in today. You can keep your rounds up. Make sure that the new prisoners don't cause any problems. I'm going to sleep in today. I don't know what I happened. hope you're feeling better. You seem quite off today. But I think that's for the best. You yeah. get some sleep. I'll grab some medicine as well. And she uh, pans out. We pan out. So, uh, Sig, um, you will be uh, heading to um, Ward 1 to begin your um, to usher in the new prisoners that will be coming in. Okie dokie. And, right. and now it is time to get to the back to the the real party. Well, I'm sorry, is he not a part of the real party? <laughs> no, well, he's. we're going to kill him off instantly. <laughs> yeah, ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was given the option to out of character. I was given the option to, but I thought it'd be more interesting if we had somebody that's already Just a guard die. on the inside to create that player collision yeah. and see what's gonna happen. Change it up from everybody's working together from the start dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Ward one. That that's this one, right? Let us. Yeah. Yeah. Ward and um, that's uh, Ward two. Ward uh, when it's the very first one to the left, where the um, oh okay, okay that okay. one over there, but. All right. Uh, just um. Uh. Number three is Joey. Please place. Your, please place your, your I, character I don't know where down here. Um, the map is very big, and Roll Twenty's been shitting down on me, down so. to the bottom where the entrance where is. Where all the guys are. Where all the guys are below Thangborn. Okay. okay. Like here. Thangborn. Oh, I'm on the other side of the corner. Yes. It's there. Yeah, there where the, the two big guys open are. plaza. Where the circles <laughs> are. Where the circles are. Look okay. for the flashing colors. Center, Joey. Bottom center. Bottom <laughs> center. Take your time, man. No rush. Don't look for the epilepsy warning. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. Don't worry. You'll, you'll see them eventually. Guards all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look below that. Below that or above that? Below, below that. Below. Where the, where the big... Okay, I see. I see. I found it. Yeah, I found it. It's all a right. very big map. We know. I know. I like big maps. That's why we were helping you. Yes. I know. I okay, wish there was so a way to like throw you there. Just me. There we go. You can throw him there. Yeah, so. you're the other party still slowly beginning their trucking through the uh, prison oh, area. I am there. Mm -hmm. Is it just me? Yes, it's just you right I'm now. There. Please introduce Please. your character and um begin your introduction and describe yourself a little bit. I am Silna. I am a Briar, um, Briar Thorn. This is a plant race that I come from a very certain tree that we will probably discern. I have bluish bark like skin. Well, it's bark, it's not skin. I do not have human skin. Um, with um, Celt, with a mixture of, then there is a Celtic slash Nordic pattern all throughout my body as if it were the things of the tree um i am rather tall like a well close to six foot because they are big tree people um i have basic clothing no metal because i am druid um i have a very important staff and a backpack with things in it that are very important and are alive and should not be taken from me but they will be Possibly. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. As you begin okay. your walking, and these people, uh, so they captured? you were captured by um, uh, um, a raid party, um, a raiding group, and they uh, captured you. You killed a good few of them, but of course, numbers is over. 
Damn, of course, I get called the moment we start doing my shit. I'll be right. <laughs> Next person. <laughs> All right. Wonderful introduction. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, they're dead. Silma's here now, don't worry about it. <laughs> she died in the horrible way. The, the... Oh, my friend. They died of stress. <laughs> Mr. L consumes all. Are we waiting or going to the next person? Uh, I'm here. Uh, he's I'm back. back. Alright, they're back, let's go. It was, oh. a quick, it was a quick thing, they were just, people were going to get dinner somewhere, and I was on my own. I it's like fine. Keep voice. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. The guy um ge um gestures down his hat. Hello, uh welcome to uh Persian Blackwood. Um, um Why is it Blackwood? What kind of wood is it made out of? Uh Blackwood trees. Oh. That that's why we kinda call this place Blackwood. I'm sorry, I know it's understandable it's a shitty name. Most of the people think it's stupid. I was curious about the trees. Hmm? I was curious about the trees. Yes, uh, Blackwood is a good, uh, most common tree in Caldemar. Oh. I think I would have known that, but okay. <laughs> okay. I'll just go with it. Yeah, uh, give me a second, I'm like spazzing on my screen on my other computer. Um, please okay. follow me. Uh, your fr yep. uh, The rest of your uh, grouping will come with you. What the? I do not know why you're being... <laughs> God damn it, roll 20! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Joey's pain. Specifically yeah. Joey's pain. Um, go through this doorway right here. Had, and had like had like that during during um during mm -hmm. Argos's whole thing I had to reload re twenty, like roll twenty like five times. Oof. Oh shit. No, no, don't do this to me, roll twenty. You were just working. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Please don't No, move. no, not too many, not that. I just want to move. Okay? Okay, roll 20. I'll move you. I got it. I'm there. Okay. Right here. Here. Right here. Yeah, hello. As you come walking there. in, you see you again I, more. I have shackles. Huh? I have shackles. No. You, they okay. didn't put any iron bars to respect your... Um... Oh, that's very nice of them. <laughs> but, <laughs> it, but if you act up, man, they, that's... that's... Did they take my shit? Do I still have my shit? You still currently have all your stuff right now. Okay. <clears throat> ah... You see, uh, this uh, small, uh, fellow over here. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to make a perception check, to, or do you wish to... to... walk up to him, or should I stay where I am? No, you can walk up. He gestures to you to come up. Okay. I will come up. I do not know people's customs. I will walk up. There we go. Hello. As he, he waves... I seem very cheery for someone who's been in prison. Ah, Slax is like, a lot of the time you gotta understand here. Fourteen perception, a general perception of here. This person seems to be a, a well-educated folk, but wearing good plated armor as well. He seems to be on a, a oak dex. You notice that there are a few people with gold masks, a few silver ones. The people who captured who had the silver, hel the iron helmets on, and these mm -hmm. golden guys are kind of beefier than the rest of them. But yeah, this person before you seems to be not wearing his helmet, but generally, as okay. you notice. He has a scar on his eye, and <clears throat> and nice to meet you. Uh, of course, uh, you are considered captured, though you are druid. You do get some perks of that, and what I have heard from the reports of your casting and the mass blowing up of people's heads. I do not blow up people's heads. No, and that's the other person with you, though. The, uh, oh, yes, the, yes. the spirit. Yes. Yes, the spirit. Why smash? You also sent some bees at people, uh, but <laughs> have one bee. It, it, it does not attack. One bee. He writes down that. Oh. Only one. Yeah, people here aren't good at counting. Yeah, very sorry about the in inconvenience of such things. Uh, may I know, stated from the record, of your name? Silna. Okie dokie, Silna, prisoner of druid, druid descent. Barked race or some plant race. Druid is not a descent. Druid is a teaching. Oh. Sorry, I will, he tears up that piece of paper and starts rewriting it again. But I should respect oh. such customs. I have never heard of a druid race. 
No, it's, it's more like druid craft. Or, it's, our sheets here are made from dumb people. I gotta make do what you got. Okay. Uh, besides that, uh, um, I, of course, have to relinquish and take your equipment. Um, <laughs> do I get my stuff back? If you have good behavior and don't cause us any troubles... Of course, um, um, I have um, one of our uh, wardens, Warden Number 5, was curious about seeing your equipment and such. And depending on his appointments and what he assumes it to be, he, you might receive your stuff back. Okay, well, I need to... Can, can, can I, uh, the, the things in my backpack need care. So can I speak to this person so I can make sure that they are properly taken care of? And pulls out his sheet of paper, he starts stacking, he's like, you know what, and um, I will allow you to keep your equipment and such, and uh, I'll set up a meeting with you, uh, probably an hour or three after when I finish all that pa this paperwork of all the prisoners coming, you will be requested to go see this man. Now, all right. If you're um, fine with such things. Yes, you have been very accommodating. Um, I don't know if you are under... It, it seems like you are having a tough time with the papers, just keeping up with it. I am very good at writing, if you need assistance. Oh, you're, you're, you speak? Common? Uh, what, uh, what language is proficiency? This might be helpful for your, your future in our great crusade, apparently. Apparently. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> you um, you, you I, notice the roll of his eyes of that? Yeah. I, I see this, and now I'm like, okay, I want to stick with this guy. He, he seems not too keen on this place, so maybe... I speak Sylvan and Primordial. Oh, Primordial! Huh? That'd be nice to have a new addition to that. Yeah, the dwarf, uh, he doesn't speak Primordial. He speaks more Dorovish, but Sylvan is a good thing. Our our, our linguist lady, a uh, lady with the weird three-eye shit, whatever that is. Hmm? Three eyes? Uh, she has two primary eyes and like kind of like a textile weird eye on oh. top of her cloak or something. Okay. All right. We call her four eyes, but because we call her nerd, but she's also our our, our communication specialist. So I don't think it would be good to insult that person if they're the one in charge of communication. Yeah, yes, it's quite true. Well, it's just the fact is that if we try it's complicated things here, I'm uh, I am the uh, more of a uh, writer myself, as well as I help uh, teach uh, people around here how to read and write the basic common language here this oh. uh, but that's my hey, job really? title but we okay. shouldn't traverse too far uh, uh, I hey, can I will get out of you I will go where you need me to go to get out of your way uh, so you please head toward know. one you, you can um, yes please please move my character sheet yes there we go which way is ward one uh, 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 next one? where six tokens at right now there is six token uh, all the way to the left if you scroll down to the left You'll see sick. Uh, am, I, am I going the right way? Yes. Yep, two buildings over. Okay. Two buildings over. Two buildings okay. over if you get lost. Uh, I see him. I see him. I see the, the man. I see the handsome man. And you're, you're not Ooh, supposed to enter in right now. Yes. And you're supposed to wait I'm, outside. I, I'm saying that as me. Because Sig is a very handsome man. Sig is quite handsome. He is He's very got, got handsome. Got that touch of gray. Very nice. <laughs> Would you like to make another perception check? Yes, I will make a perception check. It rolled 20, will that me? Oh! I see all. You notice that you the people... The world. You see, of course, a lot of the... Um, you notice that this place is built very efficiently for it... For how it is. It seems like all the wood is kind of like covered in mud. More of like using a wooding exterior. You notice that everything here, the wood was used to the maximum... A possibility of it being used. Maximum Nothing percent. is left. Maximum, but that is good. Do not waste. Do not waste. And okie dokie, it's time for the next grouping. Yes, I see skies of green. Black <laughs> pyres of two. That's not how that goes. Okie dokie. Oh. Uh. Next is a very Ooh. chipper one. One that is... I feel like I was pretty chipper. You were quite tripper too, but... Tripper? I realize my voice has turned to jester. Uh, <laughs> uh, Skya, please place your character. Oh, it's my turn. Yay! Do, 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 do. 
as uh, please uh, introduce yourself. Um, Hi, I look very familiar to some people. My name is Ferris. I'm a, a I have blue hair. I'm a whopping a big old whopping four feet tall, and uh, I. Hi. I punch things. <laughs> I, punch, I punch things really good. <laughs> kill me, please, God. <laughs> okay, I heard it. <laughs> I will kill you with a thousand suns. Uh, Welcome to the Ferris's world. This is how she is. Yeah, well, you're in my world. Welcome to Red Caldemine, Ferris. No, no, no. Uh, I have a question. Ferris this is uh, a logistics. Did you use Welcome the... Welcome to Ferris's world. I have a question. Uh, Skyler, did you use the transmutation stone? Are you with your ears oh, out? Yeah, of course I did. Okie dokie. So you're looking That's here. That's why I didn't say anything about wolf ears or anything. Okie dokie. I, I, I'm just... Oh. Well, oh, crap. I forgot about that. Shit. <laughs> I should have gotten that. Um, Wait, uh, that too? Oh, I forgot that you had that and that I wanted to look into doing that because me looking like me is not always the best. Um, you notice the much. people to start gesturing you to the right place? Step, 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 step. We are the cheeriest group who do enter It <laughs> <laughs> will make this prison a circus. Ha ha ha! I'm so happy how everything turns out in this world. Um, please, uh, you see, um, the goblin to gesture asking you to come forward. Step, step, step. I find this gonna be we go from me and you, and then with Kobu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kobu was in the oh, middle. The tone shift. <laughs> the tone shift. I mean, just remember, last but not least is Dupli. So. Well, I mean, you're not going through the thing. You're already here. I know. But you you fit with our you, you kind of fit with me. Nah. Um. I hello. Fit with eating. Hello there. You, you look kind of youngish. Uh, I feel bad for you. I'm quite young. Uh, age. Twelve. Oh, I was not asking age. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, Sir, Sir X looks like okay. Age twelve. Um. Um. Name. Ferris. Ferris. Okay, that's a unique name of such. You got a nice cloak there you got there. My daddy gave it to me. <laughs> Who is your father? Who is your father's hell? Ah. Uh... Right, that's me looking at my character sheet to see if I can remember it. And then I need to Ferrisify the name. Ah, uh, he, he is... Daddy is, uh... Koki Maru. That's not right at all. I know that. She doesn't call her dad by name. What do you think? Well, like yeah. your last name. It's what is? What is that? Just the Maru? Because you never told me a last name in that case. I think I, I would. I think you're you're still young. You would not know that. Okay. Yeah. You you would refer him as his first. Oh, I'm playing my character perfectly. Yeah, yeah, you would you would know his first. I never gave you his last for a reason for that, but. And I messed up the first. <laughs> yes, and that's perfectly fine because I was about to roll something really quick, but I don't have to. Yeah, you're playing dumb for the win. Yeah. Well, uh, he writes that down. Uh, you came over the colorful trio. You were good at fighting, I heard. Um, but you are uh, still young and fairly. Uh, uh, how's your reading and writing skills? I can read baklava. <laughs> uh, okay, you will be you will be sent to ward two. <laughs> she writes that down. He's like, okay, you are a child. I will. What do you expect? She is a child. Yes. Anything else you have to, uh, any combinations you might need and such? You don't have shoes, which concerns me. Buffy bed. Uh, Please. I think, uh, <laughs> someone would arrange something in such a regards. Anything else you wish to say before I send you off? Thank you for the wonderful stay. She does a little <clears throat> bow. God damn it, I love her so much. Uh, uh, there's one more thing you had to say. You were looking for someone at this the prison. Guy? No, yeah, you were looking for someone specifically at the prison. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't need to say it to this guy. Okie dokie. Nah, he'll just... He will adjust to you to War 2. 
Which one's Ward 2? The one next to Ward 1, I assume? Yeah, right over here. Outside here. You gotta walk past the handsome step, man. Step, 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 step. Currently, the door is closed, but I will open it soon once I've finished What do you mean? I don't need to walk over to the handsome man. Yeah, I gotta walk past the handsome man. Oh, no, wait, is Ward 2 the right one? Oh. Oh, okay, I thought it was past it. Okay. Now! Past that is the wall. I will shut up. I can't see the whole <laughs> It is time for the greatest entrance now. Let's get ready to rumble. Now this uh, this party member has a um This person is not as very kindly with a lot of chains and um wait. That's not the right image. Yeah, we Joey hasn't finished the image. You can use just the head. The token has been doing it. Do what? The token is finished. I'll fix it later. Okay. <laughs> we'll fix it later. Okay, uh, this person has a lot of chains, a lot of rough, and a muzzle on. You get forcibly put in front of the uh, goblinoid. Yeah, that's where I can... Please begin your introductions and say hello. Well, first I'll do the out-of-character introduction, because the in-character introduction is going to be fun. Yeah, you're out I am a spirit with no name. I closely resemble what is known as a Wendigo, but my lower half is mostly just tendrils of darkness disappearing into some sort of void beneath me. I am not very happy right now, and it's obvious just by looking at me. We're not for the chains. I would not be here right now. Do you think we want to be here? We're just thanks to make this. Oh. And now, for the in-character introduction. Oh, God. I have something prepared. No, oh, do, 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 do. Thought you were going to kill the goblin, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not going to start too much shit for us, but it will be fun. Especially if he asks for the name. <laughs> so, oh, God, he's got a sound clip. Strax uh, gets himself ready and prepared. So, if I remove the muscle, do you promise to not go into a murderous rage? Slowly nods. Uh, okay, Is, are you lying? Shakes my head no. Okay. Uh, you hear one of the gold guards behind him. I think we should put the, the collar on him. Just in case. So nod again. Here's <laughs> uh, the thing, I can go to a rage even with a muzzle on. It was just a courtesy. I will, tr as Sorak says, I think we can trust such regards. As he gets up, he boldly gets off his chair. Though brandishing his weapon, he will not go. Not an idiot. Not an idiot. Removes muscle and such chains that are on your hand, but keeping the ones on your feet. What feet? I think exactly. Yeah. Ramble. Aren't you a four-legged creature? No. What are you talking about? He Jake just described himself. Oh. You know, the lower half of the body is more like just, just the mass of, like, thorny brambles. Then I will just remove the handcuffs on your uh, hands to give you trust in such regards. As he does that, okie dokie, as he pulls out his sheet of paper, you killed consistently about 20 of our men, and there is also evidence of you killing other men and consuming their flesh. Though you have a, a, a great thing of stealth and strength, and as well as uh, melting people's faces off, and uh, other reports that I am too lazy to read and glance over as it slacks. <coughs> looks over. So... Ah, uh, name. I hope you're able to hear that. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. Fuck. Awkward silence. Silence. <laughs> just like, okay, you just okay. I I knew you were trying something and it just didn't work. The moment it was silent for that long. Yeah. Hopefully this works. Did 
If that didn't work, then I don't know what to tell you. Nope. Okie dokie. I assume it's very... Uh, angry word noises. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, I clearly don't speak whatever language you're giving me, son. So, or male, what is your gender? It's also on the list. I, I was not asked these questions. <laughs> Another roar. Okie dokie. I'm just you gonna... Know, you know what language he was speaking? Not a clue. Abyssal. Yes, he was speaking abyssal. Yeah, I assume so, but nah, this guy doesn't have proficiencies in such language. He speaks common, but he's just fucking with them at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna write down your name as, uh, Skelly. Very loud skeleton. And ask Skelly would work better. He writes down Skelly. Skeleton plus Yelly. Skelly. Skelly. That is now your name for him, as he puts that down. Uh, I would say I would give you a weight in classification, but please head to Ward 1. And if you end up acting up, we will put back the shock collars. <laughs> and I gotta find where on the map everyone went, because I had to Just reset my... I'll, I'll grab your token. Scrolling me to the very bottom. I will put you. you go with the rest of the party. I'm all on my lonesome because I'm a child. What do you mean the rest? Oh, well, yeah, no, that is the rest. Never mind, you're right. I mean, we don't know where Kuma is. For all we know, he is in Ward 2. Well, Which I, 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 I doubt I thought, based on everything else. I thought I was by myself as well, but then I remembered, oh, yeah. Our... <laughs> Okie dokie, as I stack my papers and submit them into my reports... We go to where our lovely potty doer is at. Um, Sig, make me a perception check. As you see a tree and a beast walk up next to you. Yeah, so far you see you see a beast and a tree. And, and a wolf in the distance. And a wolf off well, the distance they... with blue hair. Or dark bluish hair. You're yeah, not a wolf. Girl. No, you're a little human girl. Hmm. <laughs> little girl. Little girl. Do you have anything to say to the uh, people that have been brought in? Oh, there's all of them. No. Or will there be more? Because I was waiting for the group to be a collective. No, okay. it is. It is. I'll, uh, <clears throat> as they're already in front of me, he'll kind of just eye both of them. Very interesting. <clears throat> Hello. Name's Sigurd. Friends come to Sig. They say I like to talk about. I don't really think that, though. What about you? What's your names? What are you in here for? You kill somebody, rob somebody, or maybe you pissed off the wrong organization at the haunting realization that they're going to kill you? Now you brought yourself to safety in this ward? You talk very fast. Even Did you, you joke, dear? Oh. Ah. <sighs> come now. It's a mere joke. Lighten up. Any kind of manacles or anything still remaining on the Wendigo? Uh, you currently have nothing on you right now because you're in good okay. behavior. Go on. Anyways, like I said, <laughs> name's okay, Sigurd. Um, quick, can I ask a quick question before mm -hmm. we continue? Kobo, did you, did, did you give it, uh, me or Ferris's character a name to call you? No. Honestly, you guys probably would have been able to hear the war from where you were. Yeah, I imagined as much. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, we've been with you for a few days, I imagine. Did you guys have any idea if anyone's seen Rampage? It was uh, Lizzie's War. The giant oh. crocodile monster. Yes, uh, okay. Oh, that was yeah. the word that I was trying to use. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I don't know what to call you. I will just call you Spirit. And I'll just tell you. Tap the yeah. druid on her shoulder. It's a joke. Anyways, the name's Sigurd. I don't bite. That's right. I was just, I was a lot to take in. <laughs> hmm. kind of, just a uh, lot of questions thrown at me at once. A lot of kind and of like rowing shuckle comes from the Wendigo at the comment of, I don't bite. I don't bite. I'll kind of like, I, this it, it Wendigo like bite. creature. Is this your pet? No, he's not a pet. Oh, he's a. I I want to say friend, but I don't know how he feels about that. Well, God, if you attack either one of us. Oh, he really? So far. Anyways, I assume you have names. Yes. Well, I do. It, 
he's 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 not a very talkative person. Lily oh, shakes you know said no. Did you two come together? Yes. We were ah. ambushed. No. Oh, your names. Yeah, I am Silna. Is he is he? He is him. Do not know. He, do not... he does not give name. He he doesn't have a name. You didn't name no. Hmm. Let's see. We're just going to call you Dog for now. Dog? <laughs> well, anyways. You notice one of the guys, like, uh, chuckle yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah. You, you hear a chuckle from one of the guards up there, just like... <laughs> oh, the and I start glowing very ominously at that it's moment. It's okay. It's okay. He's just joking. It's okay. He fades away. Okay. Supernova around here is a jokester. Anyways, on to the serious stuff. He, he tells Please make your way. I'm sorry. What was that? No, no, I was just saying. See, he tells the jokes. Hmm. Of course, yes. Anyways, make yourself inside. Make your way inside. Uh, you will find a. You're gonna have to move the thing again. But thing. You'll find a bunk and some tables. Feel free to use some of the standard equipment and whatever resources they have in here at your leisure. Uh, combat training will begin at 1400, and at 1600, dinner. So. Uh, just report back to me when that time comes. Um, where? Where will you be? I will be out here. Okay. Sorry, right, that makes it good. Makes it easy. Do, 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 go in. Are you coming? Oh, Give me a second. I'm... Please do not wander around the fort aimlessly. I will try not to. I you don't have any reason to. Some are bringing over Ferris with her really quick. I still have to set up her room. Can you keep an eye on her sig for the time being? Off there. Bring her in two word one right now. As summer goes running off to collect Ooh, stuff. God, God. Come on, roll twenty. Work with me. <laughs> I'm trying to. I just wanted to move it a little bit, and then it moves all the way to the left or the Hi, right. I'm Ferris. Hello, I'm Sigurd. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you a child? Yes. Ferris. I think she said to come in here. You can stay with me and. <gasps> Um, Are they friends of yours? Uh, th th the plant one is like a big sister to me with Grandpa Medicine. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I've never had groups as collectives come in before. Normally they're like individuals. Anyways, go inside. Find some resources that you can get acquainted with. You have a bed, chambers, table, and just get familiarized with the area. And do not wander aimlessly in the fort. Oh, oh God! Things just appeared. Yeah, no. ah. As the as Sig it's finally right. opens the door, Sig, you're allowed to go in as well. We'll walk in. Okay, what where is the little? The hell is that? Is that another friend of yours? Where? No, this is behind? Warden Guard Warden Number. Oh, oh it's Warden Guard. Yeah. Who is <laughs> referred to himself <laughs> as the Manager, also known as the Dragon Scout. Ah, uh, Warden. <laughs> Didn't wakes. expect you to be in here. How can I help you? Uh, he wakes up like a little bit drunk, but not as much. He starts adjusting himself a little uh, as you see him remove his clothes. As you see, half of his face is kind of like a dragonoid-ish. You notice uh, one his left arm is kind of like a uh, dragon's wing. You notice he still wears the armaments of being prepared for battle as well as uh currently has a wooden bow staff on his side right now but i wonder why i wonder why too i wonder what force has done this <laughs> uh he bows it hello i am warden number one the manager nice to meet all of you it is nice to meet you too likewise slow nod <laughs> yes i'm not very do? talkative warden Ah, uh, usually. After the dog. Yeah, uh, manager, uh, as you know from most of the time, he sleeps a lot. He only gets up if he feels like he needs to. And, uh, this is, uh, it's up to you guys what you wish to do. Ah, uh, okay. Let me look at the whole room a real quick. Ah, I see, I found the chest. It's just a chest, it's fine. Oh, so you, you, your task. task of helping out with the training of this room. Okay. Once it's ready. Yep. Yeah. Yes, okay, and there's a man in the back. I guess I will go find a bread, and I, I'm going to go take a corner. 
exactly. The, the spirit is going to look around the room slowly, just okay. taking everything in. I'm just a walking penny. Eris runs across the floor on all fours. Eris, Eris, we walk upright. As you no, say, I walk like this. Gil has scaled the wall, scaled the ceiling. We look like that. that. Guys, guys, talking over each other. Sorry. Sorry. That seems right. He just like looks at it like, okay. Then Raza, Raza Q looks at himself. He's like, okay, this is a more lively bunch than most. Very interesting, I might add. What do you think? They came in groups. Hmm. Well, a group, I'd say. Yeah, what's with the perception? <laughs> Scales across the ceiling. <laughs> He's like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call you. Wait, a, a Are floor, the bars please. open or closed? Uh, that currently that is open. Okay. Is the um, man inside I'm... sleeping or awake? Oh, he's up. He's just playing with toys on the ground. <gasps> nice. Spirit on on the floor, please. <laughs> please. Uh, uh, oh, hello. Hi. Oh, God. You want to play with my toys? What kind of toys? Uh, uh, he, like, has, like, some wooden toys around him, a wooden sword and stuff like that. You notice that this person uh, looks like a full-grown adult. He has a beard, he doesn't have a shirt on, and he has pants. That's pretty much it. Hmm. Nah, she doesn't like playing with swords. I have, I have a horse. I have, I have a dog toy. I mean, not a dog. I mean, not a a a, a wolf a wolf carving. I knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a wolf carving. Uh, he has also like a, a a kind of like an image of a Viking with a weird symbol on it and just general stuff like that. Nah. Mole. He continues playing. Chat stop. Does anything seem amiss? Eighteen percent. I need a sp uh, I, uh, a roll for uh, Akuma's character. What roll? Stealth. No, I don't. Do you not have a? Seven? I'm not moving. <laughs> Indistinguishable. Yep. Oh. I think seems I forget odd. how long mimics can just sit there. <laughs> yeah, I forget about that. <laughs> now, besides the uh, uh, a big giant dragon in here and, uh, and all that, it seems quite nice. And such. Paris just sits on a bed and starts talking to her hands. <laughs> this person's like, oh, he, she, she has voices too. And continues playing. <laughs> Sending up my trees. Mm -hmm. This is the weirdest word. <laughs> uh, yeah, a guy who's uh, half mutated with a dragon face of scales and a wing, has a wooden staff, <laughs> climbs <laughs> under bed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a reject word. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, it's not. <laughs> Which not... bed? Which bed is he under? One that he's on. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't. I haven't zoomed in. I didn't see him. Yeah, he's up okay, here. I got to keep an eye on him. Yes. Yeah, and time Maybe passes as you guys get your room situated. Yes, yes, I know he lived in the basement. I just, I just wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh God. So, uh, uh, as the famous saying goes, uh, it's a sandbox right now. It's up to you guys what you wish to do now. What does Kuma want to do? I believe Kuma should do something. I'm He's... not doing anything with these fuckers in this room. Oh. He okay, is well. Chest. Yes. Apparently, I have um, a meeting in three hours with the person so I can keep my stuff. Well, I will wait here until that is ready. I still need to find Lasagna. The Zagna? Yeah. Did 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 the old man tell me what the word the name was? Or did he not? 
Uh, Razaku. Okay. Razaku? You mean Razaku? Yeah, Lasagna. Paris, you have to say the name right or else you're never going to find them. But that's his name. That's nowhere close. Well, you spoke his name. <laughs> this guy's like, wait a minute. Sig, follow me. Sig? Yes. Follow Ziggy. Me. Z- Z- uh, Sid, follow me. Someone say my name. I said yeah, Lasagna. Your name Raz R- Razakul? That is my name. That is what she's trying to say. Hi. Hmm. Who gave you my name? Grandpa. Who's your grandpa? Grandpa Medicine is my grandpa. He told me to talk to you, but he didn't tell me why. He's an old man who lives in the woods. His eyes. He's not actually her grandfather. <laughs> as, as his eyes. Logic. Why does he? You spoke into the old man of the woods. Yeah, Grandpa. Okay, good, because I was about to attack her for a minute. Not many people know my name or speak my name. I did not know that was a thing associated with your name. Yes, the one who said his name wrong, you were going to attack. <laughs> no, he's talking about me. I said it right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Said it right. I was going to be attacked because of you. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you wish to roll history, uh, Solana, on this? The person's name as you. Oh, me? Oh, okay. I will roll the history. Better you than me. Better you than me. <laughs> I can unlock lore. Uh, okay. Razak, you. Razak. No. Yeah. I got to give notes. Razak, you. Is um, Gorm Scout, Gorm the Great okay. Scout. He was. Fa- One second. One second. I gotta get to my note page. You want me to take notes, don't you? Yes, yes. I'm proud. Take your time. Page. I like taking notes in the game, but I know I need to because I'm not gonna remember all this. Come on, work with me. Need oh. The high. Oh. And and. Yeah. Where are my peoples? NPCs. There we go. Uh, okay, Gorm Scout. Gorm Scout. He's a, known as the Dragon Rider. His name is... Con- uh, most of the people do not know what his name is, as usually people who are Dragon Riders in this world do not ever give their names to people, only those that they trust. Most of the time they refer themselves to other people. As you know, as this his story is not corrupted... But currently, there was one point that Razak was currently going to be in charge of a village. He would have been the next chief of the village. But due to some unknown for, for circumstances, a person that used to be the leader has came back to life. And that person, due to the laws of him, he is still in charge of that village. Okay. Oh, God, autocorrect. Gorm Scout, Dragon Rider, not corrupted, doesn't give name. Corrupted, not corrupted, and was to be chief, but lost to dead man. Mm-hmm. He also is supposed to be rocking with a giant claymore. Currently, he does not have that. It could just be somewhere else. Yeah, it could be yeah, somewhere else. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's just a misplaced, a magical item. It's not like one of the characters that are in here named Dupley. <laughs> Nah, nah. He can pull it back to his hand. Why yeah, he could. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dead man and missing Claymore. Yeah, I don't know why he just calls Not it back. missing. <laughs> he could just call it back. Why doesn't he? Yeah, he just doesn't need it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I got that all. I just need to fix autocorrect shit. Mm-hmm. And edit it. I do that now. And his name is on the thing, so I can just type that. Um, okay, is okay. So that is. I don't think I should say that stuff out loud. No, but he seems to want to keep his identity a secret. Yes. So I will keep that to myself. And uh, his, his dragon's partner, uh, because of this, the name you be, even with an F twenty, you do not know the name of the dragon. That is fine. 
But you know his dragon, if I'm not mistaken. You do know by the what dragon color it is. Well, it's kind of obvious. It's gold. <laughs> uh, it is bronze, surprisingly. Get good, scrub. Oh, bronze, yes. It's a young bronze dragon. Yeah. No, that makes sense. You were it fucking looked, saying? It looks gold. <laughs> excuse, excuse me. It looks like it's gold. I gold thought it was you, copper. They all look similar. Did yeah. you just assume it's color, sir? Yes. Yes, yes I did, and I am proud of it. <laughs> you fucking racist. <laughs> yes, I'm a dragon racist. Colorist. Yes, yes. Hate me. Bring me the hate. It's already <laughs> happening. You're too late. <laughs> Wonderful. I love it. Well, I do not know why the old man would send a, a very interesting trio to my uh, here of all places, but mm. <laughs> I I you didn't say to me. No, I'm you never told me if if you if you meant to. Well, it pretty much you would say his name that you would get a person in the prison that could be your potential ally. Kind of like kind of that, but no, it's like getting into the prison. Okay, cool. We got into the prison, guys. Yes, but Gorm is Gorm is how's Gorm spelled? Just so I'm spelling G -O -R -M. it right. G O R M. Okay, I did spell it right. It just it does not like it. it, it from. Yeah, it does not okay. like it. It does not like Gorm. Dragon Rider, Gorm Scout, Dragon Rider, not corrupted. I'm just organizing. You can keep going. Uh, no, uh, what, uh, uh, is, did the old man give it to, uh, he points to Salon, or did he give you my name to you, Ferris? Me. I just heard it to make sure she says it right. That's, that's good to know. Uh, <laughs> he has very creative ways of naming people. It's Lasagna. It is not. We need to go for your grammar. Well, besides that uh, small little wrinkle in most things, um, who's your father's name? What are you? Uh, she probably, I don't know if she says it correctly, but I'm going to assume it's wrong. Uh, Daddy is Kogimaru. He has a crack leans in. You're Kogimaru's daughter. You are aware I'm not saying the name right, right? Yeah, but he's assuming you're a fucking child. You mean the great swordsmith? Did your father well, I like? I know a... that he's a swordsmith. Yes, your father wearing stuff. Okay. Well, I assume <laughs> Eric believes he is the bestest swordsmith. He's the bestest in the whole widest worldest. Oh my god! <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. And he looks at the cloak. He's like, "Well, you have your father's cloak. How's he been?" It's been a while since I went down to uh, your village. I thought you were more like... She opens a... her mouth wanting to speak, and then she just gets all sad and mopey. Uh-oh. Well, I thought you had, like, wolf ears or something. Uh, it's okay. I do. Oh. I can understand such things. Well, I was a... When uh, your father made me a great claymore long ago with his brand on his great sword, and he gave me all the runes on it. And knowing you as he like kind of like inspects you, and he must, I, you were always his pride and joy. But I remember you were a pupling, and most, as he refers you as. I am. Ah, your mother was the finest lady. Great singer. You met mommy? I, I have met mother mommy before. <laughs> You and I haven't met Mommy. Ugh. What? What? Wait, what did you just say? I said even I haven't met Mommy. Oh. Hmm. That's strange. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, besides that, uh, don't worry about the person named Hatnot. He's just... He's a, he's a kind man, but... He's still playing with so it's not paying attention to what's going on. He saw someone go underneath the bed, but he's not going to question it. And then start melting the floor. Yeah. It's a monster under his bed. <laughs> I hope that's his bed. Uh, it might have been his bed. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should be pick a bed where one of us is. Yes, I do, do get it. 
Joey Thank gets you. it. <laughs> He's the monster. <laughs> uh, well, um, my mind's not as well as it usually is, but uh, I don't know why you... It's very dangerous for you to be at this prison right now, and I can uh-huh. understand why you hide your ears and such. Sig, you promise me you won't spread these words. Yeah, Razak, who turns to you. Ar- I don't think Argus is back yet, but okay. Oh, uh... Almost typing. Uh, Argus is not here. I did not notice that. Um, well, um, uh, uh, he extends his right, uh, his right hand forward to shake yours. Eagerly puts her hand forward. Ah, uh, we're gonna get along so well. No <laughs> name now. <laughs> oh God! You just have it out for this man, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> Doofly, what are you planning? Nothing. I just know his name now. Nothing. He's a mimic. What is he gonna do? Yeah. yeah what are you gonna fucking do? As long as you don't fucking say it. <laughs> she. 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 But besides that, uh, oh, uh, Solana. I mean, uh. Silna, yes. Silna. Got to get new to these new names. I assume you introduce and such. Uh, yes, I uh, the man underneath the pillow. I mean, the bed. You're gonna be a problem for me. Hey, he'll be fine. He's my big brother. Really, right, you thought back. that's big already? I oh you yeah, you're even... used to. Your your clan is a very friendly one that always likes adding more into their pack or family. I will go. I will. I will move my uh, my stuff, and I will go over to make sure no one accidentally sleeps on on his bed. <laughs> well, um, I will be over here now. As he like he says, well, you guys are. Uh, oh, until when I get your guys' itineraries in, um. You guys do as you please in this room. If you have any questions, please tell me. I have to go communicate to someone really quickly. Are we allowed to use the kitchen? Uh, yeah, I can ask Summer. Yeah, Summer, uh, the war too has the kitchen in it. Oh, you almost got there. I was going to get there. Oh, you are going to get there. Okay. That That's, that's a promise. So... I will just make sure you don't. No one sleeps. On so, you. Dupling, you're gonna keep staying still. I mean, yeah, that this fucker's in here. <laughs> well, this guy is. Well, uh, I'm gonna go uh, uh, get the uh, head druid. Okay. And I, I and know. Attending to my trees mm-hmm. and keeping an eye on the spirit. Okie dokie. Yes. So he doesn't. So keep a, an eye out. Oh, what's going on? When he comes back, we'll do so. So you guys are up to your oh, own good. devices. All right, now I'll do my intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna roll stealth first to see if anyone can see me when I do this. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. Uh, may I get advantage since I've been not seen until now? No, I think it's fair. Okay, oh, yeah, sure. Sure. Like move. We sure. have not seen it. Let's move. Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen. Let's see that. Be- well. I mean, he doesn't see it with a passive of nineteen. Uh, doesn't say anything, but he sees it. Um, Ferris sees it. Dragon Do sees it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just do it then. Fuck it. All right, I'm doing it live. Uh, uh, everyone except the guard sees it. That's my guard. Bad with that, um, <laughs> it's only natural. All right, guys, guys, watch your please. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Dupli, uh, to anyone looking or caring enough to look, would you see the chest lid open on its own? One giantly long, comically almost, cartoonishly almost, long purple arm grab the right side edge, and then the other, another one grab the left side edge, push his other little, whatever you can call his uh, upper half, mostly his head, out, like pushes, like jumps a little bit to have his feet appear below him. He just kind of—he's about as tall as a dwarf and as wide as one with the chest as his body. He's just gonna look around and are those coins on the table, DM? Yeah. I just—you just see the two long arms like pat at the top of the table a little bit. 
<laughs> and then just do a, like a like how you scoop uh, chips in poker. You see him drag the coins into his open mouth and he swallows it. And you know which stomach that's going into the um, yes. the uh, non. Uh, I need you to make one. a con save. Oh, well, no, it's the non-eating one. Oh, I know it's the non-eating one. Uh, advantage or normal? Uh, just normal. Well, oh, <laughs> as you go to open your mouth. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> as you, yeah. it's earlier than I expected her to come out, but I guess uh, not today. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, she's not coming out right now. But a, a, a little bit, of, a, a red mushroom gets thrown out, and <laughs> there you go. How much? Dad, that's it. Just one red mushroom got thrown out. I know, but how much money? Oh, you got uh twenty three gold pieces. Oh, everyone's staring as this little chess man. Now, you oh. see, what you saw him, as he's dragging it towards him, once the first few kind of plank into his throat, you see, like, a little red mushroom kind of cough up onto the table wetly. <laughs> oh, he does not see... No, no, he has a passive of 12. He does not see this dragon. <laughs> as he kind of just... He's kind of just, just, like, patting his hands across the table, see what else he can grab. <laughs> And just watching this happen. And then he kind of he has so much crap in him that he can't really grab anything else right now. He just kind of steps back, looks at the dragon, pauses, blinks his eyes in two separate times. Like each eye blinking not together. And he just opens his mouth and all other 16 mushrooms just fall out in a pile in front of him. You notice that there's, uh, 15. Uh, wait, what? There's one left? <laughs> yeah. There's one well, missing. Uh, oh, I don't like that, but okay. Uh, 15 mushrooms. Yeah. Just kind of plump wetly into a pile in front of him. Staring at the dragon, drool going down his face. Dragon gives you a look. Very confused. I give it a look. Just watching this happen. If only this dragon could talk. <laughs> Things it would say. If <laughs> only he knew his speech. <laughs> the stories it could tell. The battles it has witnessed. The power it has. Just. Can I try something? Sure. What would the role be to try to become this dragon's pillow buddy? <laughs> Actually, better idea, DM. Uh, I turn it into a medium-sized body pillow. <laughs> I turn into a giant purple body. Yeah, pillow. I, I heard you. I heard you. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Already, he hates me. He's <laughs> just reiterating. Oh, it. Yeah, just making sure you knew what color it was. Yeah. It's gotta be purple. Yeah. What else would it be? Purple with a gold trim. Yeah. <laughs> and a risque goblin on it. Oh no. <laughs> how, how you doing, DM? <laughs> How's your day doing? So, hey, DM, how do you like the... <laughs> This I guess I, should I just put myself on the pile, DM? Should I just put myself on the pile? <laughs> yep. All right, go down. <laughs> this is... You're no, out. what you see as the dragon is... A... Can I notice that the dragon's probably going to take me instead of eating me if he comes closer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it kind of just gets up like a person and just waddles over to the pile and flops onto it. <laughs> Another one to my collection. <laughs> he thinks, can't say. He thinks another one. Another one. The collector has become the collected. That's fine. This is more safety for me. Dragon pats the pillow. Oh, I, I, I pat him back with a pillow hand. Dra oh, by the way, this dragon collects pillows. Yeah. And, and and that's pretty much all it does. And chairs. And chairs. And chairs. It is a it's a it's a it's a comfort dragon. Yeah. You 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 crack me up so much. I you. love this. Yes. Who? You. Yeah, it's fine. Ain't the best. This is my unseen pillow form. 
players love him. DMs hate him. <laughs> the DM sits here. No, no, Sig didn't see it. Sig did not. Well, you just noticed the <laughs> Sig. Sig rolled too low. Ah, yeah. Please, ah. He's been reading the newspaper. His back to the. He's reading the goddamn. I kind of like kicked the table, almost like I was coming out of like this really light sleep startle. Yeah, nothing huh. looks different. What's going on? Nothing's different. Now, uh, oh, Dragon has a new pillow, a purple pillow that wasn't here originally. Now, can you notice that the chest is missing? Yeah, we're only, uh... Someone stole the chest on your duty! <laughs> make an insight check, I guess, or investigation. I want him, oh my god, please fail, I want you to think, oh my... Nope, nope. everything's fine. Everything's right. perfectly fine. If you need me, I'll still be here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in my okay. newspaper. Everything's a great. Everything is great. Nothing has changed at all. Very uneventful day. You're roleplaying idiot guard very well, Argus. He's I, a Skyrim guard. Yeah. He someone put a <laughs> barrel over his head. Yeah. I'll be the barrel. Okie dokie. That happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm safe, Dion. Yeah, I'm a new friend. Okie dokie. Got a new friend named Dragon. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh God. Is there anything just, else you wish to do, Dupli? No. no. I'm resting now. Because you know what's funny? When I transform, unless I choose to attack, I have the feeling of what I am. You are a pillow. So I have, I am a soft pillow. Yes. So what I kind of, ex I'm ex thinking, I'm feeling as if like just a five times as big golden retriever is just on me, mm -hmm. my stomach, <laughs> head rise right now. He's using you as for one of his cl ha claws. He's oh, can it not be his muzzle? He's oh. he's testing the softness. Uh, it's very soft. You want me to roll softness, DM? Yes, roll softness. What is that? D twenty. Charisma. Plus anything? Oh, charisma. Let's see how charisma. I have minus two. Oh. Can I be con? Uh, I will allow con. I will. Allow I will con. take plus three. I will take. I will allow con. That seems so. Hey, I, hey, you're pretty calm. You are now I the wait. dragon's muzzle. The the dragon Fuck places yeah. its head I, on you. Every and I also every so often just use one of my corner pillow, like a pillow, you know, like a little corner piece that you don't really like laying on. Yeah. To like just gently rub like his jaw as he rests. This one has added feature pillow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, feature it. pillow activated. It's a duplex pillow. Oh my god, DM, I can't wait to see what you do with Dupli Evolve. <laughs> I can't wait to if you make it that far to evolve. Uh, I so, think far, hey, so far I've made it past a dragon. Okie dokie. Okay, Sig, it's to, you do your training with the troop. We don't have to roleplay that or roll anything. You do that. What? what wait, what, real what, quick what, question. What did everyone that saw it react to? <laughs> it's just something. <laughs> something was like... Vomiting what? a pile of weird mushrooms, becoming a pillow, and now with the dragon. Yeah, there's a crap ton of red mushrooms here. The dragon was not yeah, just all slobbery. Paris just looks to Silma, looks at her hands, and then starts talking to her hands again. What? Do they talk back? I have no idea. <laughs> Eyes glow, <laughs> breathing underneath the bed. One. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I look under the bed, then I go, You saw that, right? <clears throat> Place with toe, place okay, with I'm not crazy. I'll make a history check to see if I know what kind of creature that could possibly be. <laughs> yeah, roll, roll history. Uh, what is that DC, DM? Uh, he, he, uh, to your knowledge, that is a shapeshifter. Uh, to Kuma, you know that's a mimic. Their existence is based on turning into objects, stealing stuff, and eating people. But you've never seen a mimic walk. <laughs> yes, mimics don't normally walk. That is what the party gains from that. I mean, I roll history. I just know it's not going to be good. Okay, roll history. What is the DC now that everyone's rolled DM? Oh, the DC was uh, generally just 15. It... Really? It... Well, it, well, we would never get the specifics. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, uh, shapeshifters I mean. do exist in this world, and that's a frame base for what yeah, you are. Okay. Shapeshifters okay. do exist in Kaldemine, and they're usually they yeah. keep to themselves. But Dupli does not seem like a normal one. Oh, you're not blue at all. Or green. Nope. Or... He is purple. Mimic. <laughs> Mimic don't walk. Some shape. Maybe maybe he's some kind of mix. How would that happen? Happen that's just playing with his toys on his bed. Swinging the sword. Love and life. Okie dokie. I don't know, spirit. I do not know. 
But now it is the dragon's problem. Yeah. He's loving this problem. Yeah, this is a great problem. This is pillow with added features to it. This is a this is a memory foam. Yes, yes. Memory foam, cooling fabric, the works. Everything. Is, is anyone Though, if the dragon could speak, would ask many questions, but it has something to. It, and if it asked questions, I would just be like, shh, shh, I pat him a bit harder, shh. Um, the, the, the spirit would like to know does anything smell strange about the mushrooms on the floor? And I would like to roll a nature check to yeah. see if I know what the mushrooms are. Yeah. Roll nature check. I go we'll roll nature check as well. Mm hmm. I have advantage because I am plant. Not twenty. You know these are berserker mushrooms. Oh, dear lord! <laughs> they are very potent and very strong. They they are exper eating them. You get a little bit of poison damage, but they uh, those are very interesting ones. You notice the one that was thrown out had something written on it. Oh, <laughs> and is is uh, is, is the oh my God. Door... <laughs> Oh, I was going oh. to move over too. Is the mm -hmm. cell door locked? Uh, cell door is open. He didn't lock it. He assumes that if you guys try to escape, a dragon would stop you. Yeah, nah, not anymore. <laughs> Scooter's over. No, so real quick, you guys now realize he had at least sixteen of them in his in him. Yeah, one's yeah. missing. I don't know. We don't know that. Oh, I'm saying, oh, you saw him have sixteen of those in him. Yeah, yeah, but we don't know one's missing. Yeah. No, well, I know that. I'm saying, no, but you heard the effects of it, is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And he did not seem angry. <laughs> I got booted for some reason. Aww. Um, I would like to also skitter over with him yes. to make sure he doesn't do anything too crazy. He eats it all. Don't eat the mushrooms. Do it. Don't do it, my friend. It is not good. Where are you? Read what's written on, on it. <laughs> I am trapped inside the creature. <laughs> If you see this letter, get me out of here! <laughs> what does it and What is, is it? <laughs> Hands it over to the plant druid. Did you hear the, uh, the letter? Yes. Oh. Oh no. Creature has some- something in its stomach trying to get out. Um... It's- now under a dragon. I don't know what we can do. <laughs> I don't know what we can do. Extra security. <laughs> Tell the guard. <laughs> Tell guard. Dragon. Um. Hmm? Well, we could tell the guard. I don't. I, I, I don't think the guard noticed. I don't think he'll believe us. He's sleeping on the job. It's fine. <laughs> Not a very good guard. Um, did he hear? Wait, did he hear that? <laughs> Throws me. Oh. You get hit by a mushroom. Take one D4 damage. A wet mushroom. It's also a wet mushroom. <laughs> you see oh. written on it. Uh, you actually know this handwriting. That's nah, on oh. this mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that makes to, sense. Yeah. I'm going to gather up the... Um, you know that the, the, the person that has... What is written on there is... Uh, you know this person. I don't need to explain. You know what's in me. <laughs> Ferris just pokes care. her head over the table. Mm -hmm. Where look over. did this come from? The 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 chest grew legs and ate the coins <laughs> and then attacked the bat mushroom and these mushrooms and now it is the pillow underneath the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got jokes too. That's good. This was no joke. Look, the purple pillow. It moves. <laughs> It's it's like you see like little moving. hands like scratching. No, 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 no. When, no. When I hear them, I'm not moving now. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to be a chest. Uh, I'm gonna look back to the spirit good. says mimic. <laughs> mimic. Mimic. The, the the pillow is a mimic. It's some sort of shape changer. Hello. Mm -hmm. Dragon. Mm -hmm. And you saw it change in, from a chest into yeah. a pillow. Yes. And it also, yes. And really apparently there was a tiny, some, someone is trapped in there. Oh. And there's someone trapped in the pillow. Oh no, the dragon's ah. scary. Dragon? Hello? Oh, oh. I think he Dragon looks more, at though. you. 
Hello. I got 20. I got a memory foam, you, bitch. What do you got? You understand me? Dragon nods. Okay. Um, that oh, no kill you. Yes. Uh, you okay. the dragon, did you not see uh, that pillow get up, walk, and try to steal coins? Dragon nods. See? Dragon saw it. Oh. Um. Okay. He's gonna walk over to the pillow. No, he he. he uh, dragon places pillow. Oh, ah. the pillow doesn't move. It's like pillow. I'm gonna unsheathe one of my long swords on my back, don't, and don't. I'm just gonna poke it. See what happens. Not hard enough to, you know, pierce it. And you are a I'm, I'm rolling a wisdom save. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, he doesn't move. It doesn't move. It's a pillow. Uh, dragon. I'm gonna. It, there, there I, is, I'm, is there like a crease opening? No. To like you know. Uh, usually some pillows have like a play, like a. No, zip. not the mimic pillow. Not the mimic not pillow. The mimic. It's, okay. it's so, so, so just the pillow. There's no, like no sheet. No, it's more like a pillow that has the uh, covering uh, already like sewn on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's like like a quilt yeah, pillow. Yeah. Yeah. What artisan oh. existed in the prison to make this pillow? <laughs> Who knows? Know. Maybe it was important. This is a trading hub. This is a trading hub. That is true. Resources come and go. You can see it like a train station right above us. Yeah, right. Me somebody. Well, I think the only thing you'll find with this pillow is it a pillow. Looks quite comfortable. Oh, it is. It's like when you pull your sword away, the indention is still there for a few seconds. May keep pillow. Need things inside pillow. Hands gl glow goes back. Pillow. Dragon what? doesn't want the trap pillow. The Do pillow wants to know what's inside. The dragon wants to know what's inside the pillow. Okay, the dra dragon wants to know too. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. We no need to go aggressive. It's okay. It's okay. I am the spirit whisperer. <laughs> I speak for the trees. Trees. <laughs> okay. Okay, dragon. Um, how are we going to do this? So, uh, the pillow suddenly starts to gurgle before shifting around back to the chest form thing. What he is now. Oh, there we go. Just looks up at Sig, stares Ooh, at his Oh, shit! Oh, it is a mimic! Do, do you kill Sig? Oh. What was, was that you, Kuma, that made the sound? Yes. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> he's, still run he's running! He's running! Yes, stop in the name of the law. <laughs> stop in the name of the law. He jumps <laughs> on the table like a cat starts knocking shit over. I'm just gonna <laughs> kinda hold my long sword up, almost kinda like a uh like a fencing position. Um <laughs> Don't move. That, he turns to you, opens his mouth, and fire starts to gather it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh shit. It breathes uh, what kind of mimic breathe fire? <laughs> he closes his mouth when you move away. Uh, right, I've never <laughs> dealt with a mimic before, have you all? No. no. He starts eating one of the maps. <laughs> and I'm wow. actually eating it, Dia. <laughs> okay, okay, that's gone now. I'm gonna walk over to the table. I'm gonna grab a fire, fire appears again. <laughs> no, he walked over to the table. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm on a table. I don't see much right now. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw the spoon oh, at it. Oh, 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 the spirit disappeared. Where did the spirit go? Okay, there's the spirit. Okay, he's getting closer. He stops, stops mid shoe looking at the guy. Typing. He will translate. That Let's... small one out. <laughs> kind of thinks on it. Just kind of thinks on it for a second. Starts eating a bit more, puts the map down with a few <laughs> noticeable holes in it. Oh, so, 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 so he starts being like, <laughs> coughs up. Who do you cough up? Do you cough yep. up the fairy? Her, not the thing. <laughs> Okey dokey. In a wet, phlegmy. <laughs> I am pulling up her right now. Oh dear. Why did you eat that? <laughs> Give it a second. 
don't yeah, think no. she's over here. Yeah, give me a second. Assets were loading. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. Actually, oh. I can drag it. Uh, there. There you go. That that pops up. This very <laughs> slightly covered fairy. Ooh. She's gonna give it a look of disgust. <laughs> very disgusted. Hi, hello, hello, Rella. Australia. Hi, hi, Rella. How you doing? <laughs> it's me, Estrella. <laughs> I Hello, Ella. Did someone receive my message? What? Yes, they said you were trapped in the mimic. Estrella <laughs> is friend. It speaks. Oh, it talks. Yes, I duply make friend with Ella after eating nice stick. I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask, what are you doing in here? <laughs> She's like, the, the, the mimic ate grand interrogators. Or killed the bandits that took grand interrogators' mace. And it's inside him. It is tasty stick. You didn't oh, eat it yet. He kind of thinks back to the message about the... the he had his mace eaten. And <laughs> no, no, stolen. It would like not be eaten. Stolen. But it's all making sense now. Oh, so that was what transpired. Say, uh, do you have a name? And then he takes another bite of the map he had. Um, Dupli is Dupli. Dupli. What are you doing in here, Dupli? And how did you get uh, in here? Uh, kind of tries to remember. Dupli was on cart, cart, come in here, Dupli taken out, put in in alchemy place with many mushrooms. Right. It explains the berserker mushrooms. Uh, hmm. <laughs> so I should probably report this. He finishes the map he's eating with a little swallow. Right. Um, duply like friends, yes. And you're no. a friend. Um, Are you asking Estrella? No, <laughs> duply. duply yeah, fuck Estrella. Uh, um, Estrella seems to be in a lot of stress. Yes, very. <laughs> yes. She's, been like this. She's been like this for at least a week. <laughs> Hello. Is She's the covered it. She's I am not okay. I am not okay. She casts presence dissertation on herself. I have been stuck inside that thing. Dupli is Dupli, nothing. I have been stuck inside Dupli. Thank you. I think Dupli either killed the bandits that stole me. I, have, I just want to go back to Grand Interrogator. Wait, what, 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 what bandit? Okay, he actually stole it from Grand Interrogator. Yeah, it was on nice horse, take stick, eat stick. <laughs> the stick. Oh, it's even, oh, it's I just want to go back oh, to my job. Oh, at, at yeah, the mention of a job. Estrella over to sing. At the mention of a job, you hear him. Uh, as you're starting to move off, uh, Wolf Guy. Um. Wolf girl. Here, you hear that gagging sound again. <laughs> and then a bag appears with the documents on the floor. Yes. Grand interrogator's notes. You ate his bag. It looked nice. Can I, have, have food in there. can I have the... Can I please have by the mace? No. Please. It did tasty stick. Um, little Dupli, I think it would be nice if you gave what it, no. it, 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 it does not belong to you. It belongs to me. Yes, and he is your friend. You don't take things from friends. I'm ashamed. Rella, Rella, no act like friend. Well, you're not acting. I like helped you get here. I paid for ends. I helped you. Uh, he kind of thinks on it. <laughs> you just you never pay attention to when I give you useful information. You, I do believe this, and yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is not what a friendly relationship looks like. Uh, so now, as you're talking, he's looking at you. Both his eyes start going in different directions. 
okay. takes <laughs> Estrella to uh, sick. Unfortunately, as you try to take her 20 feet away from Dupli, she pops back at 20 <laughs> feet of Dupli. <laughs> Okay. Hi, hi, hello again, Rada. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh boy. I okay. am not Rella. I'm Estrella. Dupli, that is that is a thing. She does not like when you call her that. A friend would stop doing that. It is what friend call nickname. Well, she does not like nicknames. <laughs> I am one friend. of the high fairies. Of... I am a lawyer. But Rada's a cute name. Yeah, it, it, less, it less wordy. Uh, she needs Mace to move. <laughs> yes! The Mace is my... What, uh, the contract of the weapon. That it, oh, by yeah. the way, now I can explain as the DM to the viewers. Magic items in this world are, are created either making through contracts or from dwarves or people who are master crafters. Master crafters are quite rare. Most of the time, people make contracts with spirits to obtain a magic item. Estrella is, is one of these, as well other party members that might have that too. But, and besides that fact... Is, is, I know about is, contracts. You do? Oh, please. Yeah. It makes you and you family. Yes, it does. She needs Mace to move. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Please return to Mace. Is, is. I think he's going to walk back over to the warden. Should we report this to administration? Oh, is he still in the room? Yeah. Here. You right. mean the dragon? <laughs> All right. The, the one who can't talk? Now. <laughs> but he can shake his head. The dragon, uh, I feel like this deserves to be reported. Oh, no. Okay, mm. okay. Dupli, Dupli, you need to... Okay, uh, quick. Give me a second. Before, before you, you leave, I'm just getting the tokens ready. Yeah, Wolfman. Um, don't know to tell you this. Your hand keeps going. Yeah. It doesn't stop. Going and going. It's farther than his body should be. Dupli. What's up? Please return the mace. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maze. Please release uh, the maze. Don't wish to hurt you. That was shoulder deep. <laughs> I'm going to cast sending really quick. You can't without the maze moving over. Actually, no. I, I'm still a level 5 cleric. <laughs> you made the contract. She can use her spells. Well, no. The, I only gave her him an all, olive branch so that he could cast the spell to heal her. Well, I thought that's why you were able to... Yeah, that, able to that too. Them. She can cast now. He slowly just pulls off the arm, goes back over here, and just fucking projectile vomits the mace. <laughs> Thank you. They Dodge out do, of the way. Dupli do good for friends. Thank you, Dupli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She picks up mace. It shrinks. It's, it to... is covered in slime. She casts present <laughs> dissertation and proceeds to start polishing the poor creep thing onto the table. I imagine it takes a few present dissertations to get yeah. clean. <laughs> yeah. She sits on the table like she has seen war. Oh, yes, I was, I was thinking about that, too. <laughs> you might hey. want to clean those off. Spirit, before you eat them, if you plan on doing that. I don't recommend it. Again, clean. Yeah, they're still covered in saliva and I slime. Just... Yeah. Six them into Rit Page. Okay. I have a question. I have a question about Dupli's yeah. lime. Yeah. Is it adhesive? No. Okay. It's like phlegm. Okay. I was just checking because I just don't want to call it phlegm because I do not like that word. It is phlegm. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's understandable. So then Dupli kind of looks at y'all, just starts going this way. <laughs> idea um, was this? No, that's not really. It's just the table uh, representation. Okay. That's not. He actually. hops down. Where is he going? Back as pillow. Yeah, back yes. being pillow, pillow, body pillow form. This time, elven woman. Yay. Uh, don't worry, uh, Kuma. I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's just that I, I had planned. <laughs> and what? I'm not trying to be rude, but good job. 
Not what? dying. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Fuck I you. Dupli is a weirdly good survivor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This I'm time, the, this time though, DM, yeah. Yeah. Dupli turns normal pillow color and just digs into the pillow fort and now cannot be found unless he chooses to come out. <laughs> The dragon knows the difference between his pillows. Mm. The dragon what's, will always. What's the role of deception? Distance, uh, this dragon this... true sight. Yeah. Oh, fuck true sight. You got me. <laughs> oh, not this one. It's you not. Got me. It's, not, it's not that. But this one literally has a pillow <laughs> sight. Pillow sight. It knows oh, that every pillow has a difference. Even if you oh, become no. a, an exact copy of a oh, pillow, he will know. Oh my god. Well, to everyone else, it's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Spirit, I'm going to go back over here if you'd like me to try to see if we can do something with those mushrooms. So maybe make them not as dangerous, yeah. but still effective. Okay. If you would like to do that. Sticks into room cage, skitters over to bed hole. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll set up my little herbalism if he wants to do that. Yeah. And I will wait for whenever I speak with this druid about keeping my plants. Okay, now... I love this group of weirdos. Yeah, and yeah. as the door opens, you see Raz uh, Razakek and uh, another individual oh. walking up uh, with a very short and discreet... Seems to be floating from the ground a little bit. Has a wooden mask on with some antlers on the end of it. Kind of like a shamanish kind of look, but very Isn't short. Isn't he dwarf-sized? Hmm? Isn't he dwarf-sized? <laughs> yeah, he's short, but he floats. Eh, still short. Yeah, he's still short. Short is short. Hello, Sig. Oh, sir. Why is Estrella here? <laughs> uh, yeah, so about that. Um, Long story short, she was eaten by a mimic. Uh, that one. He's going to point back There's towards nothing. the table. This guy um, ignores... He looks crazy. This guy <laughs> ignores whatever is going on. He's... He, He's going somewhere right. else. It was that? I'm gonna look back. Do I see the bellow? Um, spirit. Well, it's it normal color now, though. So hmm. maybe that's the creature that might have stolen my sword. Oh. Oh. Hello. Are you this? The oh, I'm not to you yet. I'm still finishing with him. He he he's just booking it towards you. Well, oh. anyways, we have a mimic on the loose. I thought I should just let you know. Oh well. He's a friend. Ferris shouts from the table. Yes, he hasn't attacked any of us yet. Okay. Just a minor and strange creature, but regardless, he is in here. Mimic, did you I... steal my sword? There is no answer. <laughs> I will wait for such answers. He like I sits, guess he's wait. I guess he's gonna wait a while. Sits on bed. He's I've not the one through. covered in pillows and in practically oh, good uh... sleeping conditions. <laughs> He just stared. Sits cross. Do this all day. And I've I been zoom. alive long enough. And now I am with Joey's character and the the, the thing. The spirit. The spirit. He looks at you. He's like, hmm. hello. Kind of like floats up. You're a little tall to meet an eye level. Yes. Are you the head druid? Here? Yes. Okay. So, what do I need to do about keeping my plants? May I see your plants? I have them set up in the little right here. Uh, okay. He starts looking at them. He looks, respects your staff and stuff. He's like, "May I? Ah, I, I'm I'm a druid in some regards. I was wondering if I have a a second opinion with you." Okay. What is what do you need me to look at? Uh, something that I, I, a cre um, I, I shouldn't say a creature, a person at some point who's very, fairly sick, and I can't find a way to. Uh, oh, okay, okay, you're moving me. Okay. Yeah, he, he's he's dragging you. <laughs> did, did, um, did, did, he, did he let me leave my plants and stuff here? or? Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> okay, well, I'm keeping staff he, with he... me, but. Spirit, oh, Spirit, you're coming with me. Okay. Ferris, make sure no one messes with my plants. Okay. Bye, Siona. Bye. And this... oh, okay. Okay, okay, it's time to grab you. Where, where, are, where are we going to the map? 
Okie dokie. You know the room with uh, uh, looks like kind of red mushrooms? Um, ooh, all the way to the roof, right. Without a roof. Without a roof. One that does not have a roof. Okay, I've got. I'm zoomed in very much. And do you, you, you got to zoom out very much? Near the top right. It it takes it takes a while for my computer. Middle right. To... Okay, I see the big red crystal. A big no, red thing. Below okay. that. Below that. Yeah, those are near the top. Okay. Okay, I'm going down. I think I found it. Okay, I found B. Okay, I know where I am. There we go. Okay, I need to see where I where I am, but I found B, so I know I'm. You're at the right. front entrance. Okay, I found it. Okay. Oh no, no, stop, stop, roll twenty. Behave. Yeah, this is okay. Big. There we go. As you come up, you see a large line of people in front of his place. You see these people still doing training exercise outside. Different. And uh, he, uh, you open up this room. He opens it up. He doesn't care that you brought guest. Like how you came with me. Right, yeah. we, is he walking in? Yep, he walks in. You. Oh, you... okay. You're moving us. Okay. No, I didn't mean to, but yeah, you can. No, move. It's fine, it's fine. You, you're now you move free. Us. You can move freely now. Well, I'm just. I'm following him. So. Okay, dokie. Okay. We walk. We walk. We walk. We walk. Welcome to my uh my my ward, uh, ward number five. Nice to meet all of you. Hello, hello, hello. Weird giant creature that could possibly kill me. Yeah, spirit will be good. Yes, spirit. No, no death is needed. Uh, you notice a bunch of berserker red mushrooms all throughout here. Two weird green things and a bunch of uh. Some... Um, can I roll nature on the green things? Yeah. Okie dokie. I roll nature, and I have advantage because plant. See yeah. antlers. That's <laughs> not new. That's old. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was nine, green nineteen. Type. Those green things are called spore pods. Okay, what do they do? Um, they warm up. Uh, if they are left uh, unattended, they are creatures that can naturally produce a good sum of heat. Makes things kind of moisture in a certain area. Okay, they're heaters. They're natural heaters. Okay. It's very nice. It helps out. And also, mushrooms around that area, cultivated correctly, could uh, grow. Uh, okay. I is... see new potential plant to the collection. I see another one. I love Dupli. I love you guys. And I like everyone that's yeah. here. Thank you for coming to my session. Okay, dokie. Um, all right. All right. We keep moving. Mm -hmm. And then he, like, plops back onto the ground. Kind of, like, kind of, like, moves through it very quickly. Yeah, okay, doggy. He moves cage. Okay. Why is Janet here? Oh, uh, do I recognize the beekeeper? Or is that yes. you, you notice the empty suit of the beekeeper. I, I assume I noticed that as well. Yep. Oh, dear. Oh, no. B? B, are you here? Oh, uh, you know this person's name. That, that makes things convenient. B looks like, let me zoom in on B, because she looks like someone from something else. At least her hairstyle does. Ah, come on. Okay. Yeah, she kind of looks like Janet. A bit. <laughs> Glad Keeper is safe. Yeah. Wait. So, what, what, how did this happen? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? What happened? Uh, you notice from, uh, well, now I'll describe B. B is itself has like kind of pointy kind of ears, very whitish, kind of blackish and yellowish colors. You notice below um, the backside, you see a bee stinger as well as you see little bing, bee wings that are a little bit frail than usual. Uh, and um, I assumed B was going to look strange. Yeah, B looks So this good. doesn't surprise me too much. Yes, and you do notice uh, on B's back a giant red rune that's carved on her back, and she's kind of huddled on the ground. Okay. All right, let's say, let, let, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to go up to B, and I am going to see what I can do. Mm, yep. Please um, please roll me, myself, a nature check. A first history, nature, and we'll go from okay. there. History. Okay. Okay. Okay, 20. Beautiful. So as you know what uh, B and the race that is B 
Yes. Some of it. Hmm? Yeah, he is a bee. He is a bee. Yeah. <laughs> Besides that, but the point of fact is that you remember an old tale of, of what his race once be in. So far. Mm-hmm. Or is, B, is B a she or a he? Because you she. keep flipping back. And she. 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 You just keep she. saying B. She. Okay. Well, I heard he. Well, there's no. You he. keep switching. My bad. Yeah. She. Yeah. I don't, this is... Sorry. My okay. bad. She is called a Threela. A Threela. Threela. Yes. Okay, and their race was currently ext- uh, was um. Thought to be extinct. Thought to be extinct, and the person that caused this extinction was uh, a one-eyed man who is the god. What is his name? It would be Odin of this world. Okay, because... my spirit. I will see you when you get back from the shadow realm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In the shadow realm. Okay, Doki. Oh, shadow <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say his name correctly because uh, I haven't. His okay, name uh, is Auron, God of the Cosmos. Auron. God of the Cosmos. <laughs> God of the Cosmos. He killed. Thank you. He personally uh, killed these. Yes. Genocide is not for the answer. No. But BC okay. is quite sick. Yes. We're doing this to these people. Yes. I will agree with that. Yes. You can agree okay. with that. Okay. All right, I am going to. So, what, what do what do I think is wrong? Um, you can, uh, oh, and you also rolled a twenty on nature. You know what uh, is afflicting currently? Be I'm the imagining f- it because she doesn't have pollen. Well, not no. This guy's been giving pollen and such thing. What is happening to be and and how many how old B is it's due to uh, she is um of the nature of how things she is slowly becoming. And the new queen. Oh. Of her race. Oh. Metamorphosis. And majority yeah. in history, there was only one queen, but there were remnants saying that there was another one, but they thought that the, both of the queens were killed. B. Well, because she's the last, they would assume that's why <laughs> her body is going into. It's like other animals. When there is not the needed one of the species, they transform to fix it to keep the species alive true in some degree like frogs yes there are frogs that can change gender yes but the interesting fact is their race they're all females yeah, there's yeah. no males but besides that fact but um and what is afflicting her is that the way to con- continue her a transformation to become a completed queen of her race is that she has okay. to suck the nectar of a glow tree well, that is a kawinky dink. Correct. All right, we got to go back to my room, to the room. <laughs> I assume you took your stuff here and uh, did that. Oh, okay. I brought them. I thought you said I didn't need to bring them you, with you, me. You, you can bring it with you. I, you did that and that. I'm not okay. going to fucking go Paris, I'm bringing the plants with me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll still watch them. <laughs> yes. Okay. I bring the... Okay, I need to give her some of the sap. I will go give her some of my sap. Mm-hmm. As you give, uh, you see, be kind of like slap it away, and oh, be, oh, no, you be, you do this. B look kind of looks quiet, and he's like, I don't. It's not safe to do it here. Uh, how much longer can she remain like this before bad things happen? Oh, you have returned from the shadow realm, spirit. <laughs> Returns. Um, give me a, uh, a nature check again. Um, he is, um, going through the metamorphosis to become the queen, and, uh, because she is the last of her race. <gasps> Excellent! I can't wait to put that in my reports. I need to give her, um, this, the glow sap to have her transform. Oh! But she doesn't want to do that. Hmm. I'm explaining this to Kobu of what he missed, but I'm doing it in my voice for some reason. Would it deal with the uh, her sickness and be able to be transported to another place? Um, but, um yes. Why do um she do, why, why not here? She says I don't I don't want to do it here. I don't like why? It. Where do you? Okay, okay. Where do you need? Where do you want to do it? 
Not here. Not here. Okay. Um, can we can we get her somewhere else? I uh, uh, and the guy says I cannot, unfortunately. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Um, and okay. Did you? Oh, yeah. How long she could stay like this? Uh, she can stay like this for another uh two weeks or this uh, another two weeks or so. Okay. Okay. She has. All right. I have been summoned by people. I'll be right back. Spirit, speak with her. I go to the shadow realm now. Yes. As we pan back over to where the party is at. The party is split. Yeah, the party is split. Oh, boy. That's always fun. That's always fun. We never split the party. Never split the party. Clerics and the fact to keep them a very hearty. I love that song. I do, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I have returned from Shadow Realm. I was given food. Well, we're switching to back. our party now. <laughs> oh, no, we'll, we'll finish that out. I didn't know how long. You can switch back. We can pick it up. Uh, we'll I'll pick... be eating. Well, we didn't switch at all. <laughs> yeah, we were. I was. Yeah, so... I, figured, I figured out why oh. the war never played earlier. I forgot that oh. noise suppression on. Oh, nice. So I know the noise suppression was working, even yeah. with the thing right next to the microphone. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Okay, so we're still going here? Yeah, let's go here before I switch over um, to there. Okay, so we have, we have two weeks. Um, Is there any way we can move her yeah, in between that time? Uh, well, uh, besides... Uh... Can we request something? I don't know. I, I just... It needs... Well, I should wait too. Uh, Heinrich would be here earlier. Heinrich would be better for this. Uh, I'm supposed to transport B to Heinrich. Uh, I was supposed to get her ready for transport. Uh, where is where is she going? Uh, she's currently heading towards uh, another uh, fortress. Apparently, the uh, for my as he likes says, I'm looking for a promotion, and it's this uh, this. This person could lead to a great promotion if we could be able to restart a race. This could lead to great things. Well, um, well, it's not really a good thing if she's in this kind of condition and is being forced. Mm, that is true. It will take a mental. It will do a mental strain, and that will not be good. That is true. That is true. Though I, I can't blame her for not wanting to start here. That's a good point. Well, uh, I can. That would be... Uh, as you like... Can we I go outside? Will... Uh, can we just go like, outside the fort? Maybe just in the in the forest? Uh, I cannot. The rune that is placed on her, I cannot. Is there a way around the rune? Is that allowed? Uh, he will. Uh, he will. Uh... Can, we, can we circumvent? Can we? Can we? Can we? What? The... Can I explain the rune? Do I know? What... I don't know what the rune is. I assume. Yeah, the rune that is placed upon her is that if she leaves, currently the person who has placed that rune is not I. It is the uh, the uh, warden of number seven, the torturer. He had her first, and when she when we learned the importance of her race, she she was given to me after interrogation. I do not like the sounds of that. Yes, I do not like the him as much, but he was the one who informed the uh, uh, my superiors of this, and I you, am the druid, and I'm trying to get my own promotion and such thing. So I, I, I asked interrogator Heinrich for his opinion on this, and he wants us to deal with her sickness. Well, he's not going to accept it while she's here. Mm. Um. Yeah. I... Oh, um, the spirit would like to see if he can read the rune. Oh, also, uh, you guys um, find a piece of paper uh, on the uh, bench, and I share that to everyone. Okay. Um, what uh, what is is the rune in, in any specific language? Uh, the rune itself, um, to which you guys can see as I have that, it is written in a language that you guys cannot comprehend. Unfortunately, it seems like, to. Mm -hmm seems written in though around it it seems the basis of yeah. what it is is fire um is it is it not I I ignin 
Hmm? Or, uh, do you Aiden have uh, Infernal? Oh, no. Okay, no. Do you, um, no, I'm a Bissell, not Infernal. So then I cannot. All you know is can, the basis of fire. Nor do I need Bissell to get to Infernal. No, those are two different things. Well, I know. I was going with because you're the demon, and then I add the fire. Give me a second. I, uh, I'm I'm gonna, uh, uh, I have a fire alarm going on right now. Give me a second. Speaking oh, of fire, uh, yes. it was said that she's the last of her race. Sorry, everyone. Uh, I had a, a little fire alarm problem going on. Oh, he's talking to me. Yeah. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Okay, back to what we were. Yes, streams exist. Stream exists. Back to the stream. Back to Yes, indeed. Uh, he, uh, he, he says... Uh, yes, I, I explained the, the, the rule of the races and the, the genocide and that's a no-no. I, I completely understand. Uh, he says, Hanark says, I know that. The warden himself was not allowing me to keep this person out of here. Second of all, no. the warden himself does not want her to leave. That's why I sent a message to Grand Interrogate to Heinrich to in encourage. Yes, he's... <laughs> yeah, let's hope he does a good job. Um, when will he be here? Uh, usually early. So he will be here probably new week, uh, the day of 8th. Um, okay, how long is that away? Uh, it, it, eight days from now. He sent this. Oh, one. yes, two weeks. Okay, okay. So she'll this be was a okay. problem longer on, and he's telling you how many days are probably left when okay. she comes back. He comes back. Okay, okay, okay. We so it won't be too close, but don't like this. I okay. I will allow you to take her to uh, your uh, ward for the time being. Okay, okay, we will do that. Just make sure that uh. He like goes a little quiet, and he's like he makes a little dirt clone of her. Be safe okay. her. She's not in this one currently. Okay, we need to wait. Continue. And do you have that bee suit? Need... Yes. Okay, the bee suit works. Okay, donkey. All right. Um. Let um. We'll make a bet. Up. Uh, I think she'll want to lie on the bed. Spirit. I know you like the hole, but why don't why don't we just have her on your bed and then you can and she will run. Oh no no the, in the suit she'll be fine in the suit. I'm it's okay. I'm gonna grab you guys right now. He's gonna stay. Up. Well, they, they, they believe the DM says she'll be fine in the suit. You were just worried about the whole like making clone of her, but then like if she's just chilling in our room, that's kind of gonna ruin the whole point. Well, the, it, no, it's she's not. She needs to be hidden. Trust me. That's... We've got the full body suit on, and we'll have her towards the back. No, well, they know that that body suit is for her. Oh, the, she, okay. right, so that's why. Yeah. Okay. That's why he's saying he'll make a bed hole so that if she needs to sleep, yeah. she can stay under the bed out of sight. Okay, okay, that works. All right. I thought I thought he could put this. And he's lovely. and the guy's like, as much as I, I'm, I'm making a big leap here, do not let Hank. What the fucking weird giant man see her? Okay, dokie, we will do that. Um, fuck, I don't have disguising spells. I do not have those spells. I will check. I don't have anything like that. I'm a druid. I don't do the illusion. I do illusion magic. Not by forte. Well, uh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Let me check what spells he has really quick. No, no, nothing that would assist with this. Um, I could make a fog cloud. I'm just checking what she has. Oh, okay, that will help. Okay, okay, and we'll just. Um, but I will use druid craft to make a little fog around her. And just keep well, doing that. Draw more attention. Well, it's snowing out. It is snowing. It's snowing. I make it just a little more snowy around her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, only so much I can do. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys to the map because uh, he's not there right now. He is currently in his barracks. Okay. okay we just, we just, and you, you just, you just kind of hover over. I am tall. You are tall. She is short. Yes. Yes. We just kind of sandwich. Okay, um, yeah. are, you, are we going back to the yeah, barracks? you guys are back at the Back barracks. to Ward 1. 
back to world one. Mm, okay. Did. And as with that is, it is time for Ferris. No. Nope. And Sieg. And Sieg's turn. Sieg. And the Dupli. Yeah, he and Dupli. Thank you a lot, DM. Oh, Dupli's here. Yes. Yeah. As yeah, much why, as you don't want him Ferris to be. Why is Ferris the important one? <laughs> okay. Are you, uh, Scott, you're going to move our characters. To yeah, I already did. Okay. Are, are we down at the door? Yep. Oh. Okay, it's just walked in. Right. There's a summer. Hello. She kind of like peers behind you. <laughs> I'm here to... Uh... Um, it's uh, as I'm going to grab... Gonna... Ferris. Are you, gonna... are you moving us anymore? Nope, this is where we're at right now. Um, Ferris, I'm here to teach you some uh, mathematics as well as a few uh, writing skills. I have tried. Good luck. Teacher. Yes, I am a teacher of this uh, thing. I just go, I have tried. Good luck. Yeah, she has some snacks made. I heard you like baklava. My husband told me such. I made a little bit. Okay. I don't think I should call her B. So I will just say come. Call her C. C. E. Spirit, bring, bring our friend, please. She sickly moves in. Okie dokie, we're just set up. Okay, she can't, she won't drink it, but what would happen if I make, like, a medicinal ointment? Would that help? It might uh, suppress it and allow her to extend a little bit longer. Yeah, just to make her feel better. Oh, crap, I... Let me get... Yes, I am going to, um... I also need to work on that rune. Oh, I can... Okay, when, when, when I... When... Ah, God, come on, move token. Token, why you do this to me? Why? Could you, could you move me up there with her? Yes. Okay. Loving rolled funny, aren't you? As much as it loves me. Yes. <laughs> I return kindness with kindness. Correct. Okie dokie. Um, that is bed, so we'll put her right over here in the back. Bed mm. over there. She can lie up there, or if we need to, she can go under. He'll make a little hidey hole for her, I assume. Mm -hmm. And I will begin trying to decipher this rune of what I can if the spirit wishes to assist. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I will put, could you put her on this bed over here? Yeah. That way she's in the far corner bed and we can just put a hidey hole. And then I can put the trees, my plants lining it so it's harder to see mm -hmm. whenever we need to put her under. Okay, dokie. Uh, Estrella will help you with this endeavor. Still holding. Okay. Ooh. Oh wait! Didn't didn't Estrella say the name of the guy? Yep. Oh, Estrella. Hmm. Your 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 friend is coming. Correct. He He's coming to help the situation. I made sure he knows that I am here. He will be here at some point. Oh no! He's coming for another reason. Yes, but he will be here soon. Okay. Um, Spirit, are you coming up? I was having to navigate my map because the map is so oh. fucking big. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> As I'm such a look uh... It's a big map. Would, would you rather constant map transitions or would you rather this? Pick your poison. I don't know. Man. Honestly, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. To pick it's your just poison. such a big map. Okay. Um, I guess. Okay, and the Stella is willing to help me with the rune. Mm -hmm. Is Spirit helping? Mm -hmm. Spirit will help as best he can. I mean, he's gonna help with like the bed hole anyway. So yes, okay. So do 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 you want to do Skylar stuff and I can roll this? Yeah, later? yeah, yeah, yeah. Do Skylar's. I've taken up enough time. Yes, uh, Sig. As you notice, uh, as you're like looking at the message that was sent from the Tale of Winter, you notice that first does seem to make some sense of this blue-haired. In the pieces and everything else as it dawns on you. Argus? Yeah. You know, as that as she plays around doing her work and stuff, and she's like, you got to carry over the variable with that and, and all that. As she's being learned, learned? Mm -hmm. As she's being taught things, she just does a little <laughs> sneeze and her ears and tail pop out. Oh, that shocks me. And the rest of her fur. This description that's left on the letter matches quite perfectly. Oh, uh, you're a wolf kindred. 
Ya. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ke atas levels. She immediately like puts like a blanket over your head and tail and like completely wraps you up like like a kind like a, very hastily and she like kind of like darts like to the walls and to the ceiling and everything. Okay, we're good. Tilts head in confusion. Remember why you were like that, Ferris? I don't. Oh, there's a there's a scary person. We who call I prefer her not to come in here. And, well, she's currently not here, but uh, she hunted a lot of, uh, of kinds, and it's always good to stay out of her way. Ah, is that the uh, uh, a Momo. Please do not uh, even don't 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 say her name or anything, will you? That is seems bad. Uh, she's a uh, she's it's a... bad. It's too dangerous. Yeah, it's okay. It, like, kind of likes uh... tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> she shouts over to the shadow monster. Yes. Oh. Well, uh, time to do my nightling routine patrol walk. Say, Ferris. Yes. Care to join me this evening? Yes. I could use the company while I walk. Less confident on the second yes. Uh, <laughs> suddenly, you guys just see a mass of purple just fall out of the pillow fort. <laughs> Stands um, up. Is he still waiting on the bed? Yeah, he's waiting on the bed. He sees this. Well, I believe you have your mimic, sir. <laughs> Hello? Hello there. <laughs> he, just kind of, he just looks up at him and just opens his mouth as he just says, Lasagna. <laughs> okay, as Ferris goes on their walk. <laughs> And then he projectile vomits the claymore at him. He says, yeah, you did steal that from me. It just flies past him. Goes, picks up sword. It is covered in slime and saliva. And you see the dragon laughing a little bit. (laughs) Oh my gosh. So as you go on your walk, as... So I'm I'm going to take the usual patrol route, but mm-hmm. then I'm also going to discreetly kind of uh, out of sight just finagle our way back between these two wards. Okay. Wait, what did you uh, said, Skyler? And <clears throat> Oh, I was asking say, you how long the uh, 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 rune lasts for this. The the transmutation one or the runes that yes. you already have that uh, you can uh, it, as your You're little giving a duration. Um, it it lasts for eight hours. Okay, it hasn't been eight hours yet. Uh, but Save. it does take concentration oh. a little bit. But comedian is comedian, and I accept such things. But go sig. Say Ferris. Uh huh. Have you ever heard anyone by the name of Ericsson? Have I? Roll history. Oh, Erickson. <laughs> it's Leap Erickson Day already? <laughs> All right. The both rolls didn't matter if I did it once or twice. Yep. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, no information of Leaf Erickson. <laughs> That's not his name, but okay. You know his name, but that's it. Hmm. I was just joking. I didn't think you actually named him Leaf Erickson. No, it, it's, uh, it's, it's not. Some, it's not. Well, I was reading something. I'm going to have you take a look at it. See if you can pick up anything from it. It came across one of our uh, scribes here, and it mentions a blue one, and I you're the only blue one here that I can see. The other one's very blue. Mm, somewhat, but... But she also has, like, purple hair. Hair? Leaves? That is true. It wasn't very descriptive. Blue and purple. I I, I, I I have to be some mystery, but it could refer to Ferris or uh, Solana. 
Silna. 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 Let's Silna. see if you're the person I'm looking for first. If not, I shall go ask the other one. I'm going to show uh, Ferris the note. The note. Can you make sense of any of this? And then let me paste it. Hold to up. See. <clears throat> <clears throat> Show two players. Or that too. Oh, well, that works too. I mean, I'll show him. Show her. Where is my boat? I, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Where is, is, it, is it? Oh, did he post it or did you just send it to you? In the, in the chat. In the oh, it's in that chat. I was looking at Discord chat. There is my boat. I think this man wants some baklava. <laughs> He's hungry. He does seem quite hungry. Well, this has been a very insightful conversation. Well, you did ask the girl who is currently <laughs> learning. <enough. laughs> learning <laughs> I, I i have to be sure anyways uh, well i think we should make our rounds back to the ward and uh call it tonight huh okay we'll make our way back to the ward yeah yeah there is one more blue one that is uh, silna yes call out say i think we should get in a little bit more nightly combat and practice you think Okay, Estrella, please keep watch after the patient. Not head. Move, move, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, roll twenty have a lot of problems. My legs, my it legs. May are... have to do something with all the assets you put on the map. My legs do not wish to unroot. Yeah, I didn't know that the it, 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 there wasn't that many. Because assets. no, the problem is it's not just the map; it's everything you've put on the map. I might do like some stuff. Um, no, no, that is not a thing. No, no. I know, <laughs> but it is not physically possible. Uh, in short, we're just gonna go to the same location. Okay, I did not see that location. Oh, that it was uh, in will... between the two wards, uh, the oh, one to the right. Okay, phase. Okay. Laurel, the while, you, while you guys pass uh, Dupley, something happens. Yeah. Okay. As you're passing him, like, just one foot away from the, the hitting zone of this. Oh, okay. He just vomits. Or not vomits, but like, like, what's the word that's not like vomit? Um, no. Barfs up. Um, there we go. Uh, barfs up a shit ton of training weapons. <laughs> oh, that's where they went. All of them covered in slime and saliva. Do you have a nervous stomach? Nah, duply no reason to hold them anymore. This mm. looks mad because he could have had that in a normal chest, but this is the chest that I'm stuck with, far as it. Also, wait. wait Summer wait. sees this for the first time. Yes, yeah, Summer looks horrified. Is this and... the one who put the training supplies yes. in there? Yes. <laughs> She was... realizes she's been carrying this thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lovely. But then he, and like, I'll looks at them. Step his way over the bar, but... No, no, then he, like, oh. looks at them. He picks up one of the, like, fake swords. Eats it. And actually eats it, DM. For okay. my daily ration. Okay. It's gone now. Because, uh, I'm gonna let you guys see this ability I have. Okay, what? Not man's treasure is none of me. Once per day, you may devour one and destroy one of them. Okay. But the second ability is what I'm using. Okay, what 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 just happened? I I, I had my siblings were being loud. Uh, you just minute. saw yeah, you saw him literally eat one instead of storing oh. it. You don't yeah, have to go, go around. You can just face through the wall. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, that was the original plan. And then, and then once, he... uh, and then once he finishes, he just crawls back inside the pillow fort, <laughs> like a gremlin. Okay, dokey. All right. Yes. Say still not. Uh well, your friend wasn't very helpful in helping me decipher something. Did she? Did you not hear the whole thing with our names? 
Well, I'm sorry. Do she, remind me. She, she she cannot say the right name. Oh. I she, see. she could not say his name right. She does not say my name right. I don't know why she does this. I actually did say your name right. <laughs> I, no, I heard you say it a different way. Still not. Still not. Oh, okay. You say it right. Never mind. But she tells ah. people different people's names weird for some reason. I don't know. Understandable. He's I mean, still a child. Some people call me Zigurd. When it's Sigurd with an S, I can completely understand that. Anyway, besides the point. Okay. Um, I have a note, and I need to show it to you. Do okay, you, by okay. any chance, know who an Eric Sun Winters is? Eric Sun Winters. Let me look into my notes, as I do not have anything on him. But I can roll a history check? Yes, correct. Yay. History, history. I would like... If uh, I don't... Uh, no, okay, I won't do that. I'll just roll. 19? 19, that's good. Uh, Erickson, uh, you know that Eric and it is a, a very... A story itself that has... Of what you know is a madman currently right now. And... But I know of his original. His original, no. It has been too far well, gone. I know, that it's been, I know that it's been altered, though. It has been altered to the far extent to madness. Yes, okay. Um, he was once one of the ones of the sagas, the tales of the ancients. But his story has been far, far corrupted. He has descended ah. into madness. So you but do know him. There is, I know of what he is now. Oh, I do I not see. know what he was once. I just know that it has been changed as many things happen. Hmm. Well, I <sighs> might need more information on this, but for now, that's a good start. Did you show me the note? Yeah, yeah, I would have shown you the note. Okay. Does any of that make any sense to me, or you notice that as you uh, as you look at the note, that the note is written differently? Is it written differently Oof. to me? Yes. Mm -hmm. As you look at oh. to, to the note, it's it's written in the handwriting of as the old man, the woods. Oh, oh boy, what does it say? The old, the, as it is written in the old man, what does it say? Save, it. save B. Okay. Did that? Doing that? Please help end the tale of Erickson for me. Yeah? Before he comes to where I live. Oh, dear. Okay. Right. Do you also um, share the other notes? Uh, I do not. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, when I tell you that I see this in a different handwriting. Wait, you do? Yes, it is from a friend. And oh, Erickson, so you know this person? Ah, uh, not Erickson. Oh, the the man who knows Erickson. And apparently, he's coming after the old shit. Oh God! Oh, uh, he didn't say when, but he's coming after him. We have to stop Erickson. Shit! No taking. Give me one second. I explain. About the old man in the woods. The old man of the woods? Yes. And that he is in danger. Even more danger now. God damn this old man. Why can't he just move? <laughs> oh, to the viewers. A lot of zero sessions happened with someone named the old man. Some call him grandpa. Some, he's a nice man. Pretty chill. Yes, he's a nice man, but he needs to move. He cannot let the past kill him. I see. Okay, well, it's yes. starting to make more sense to me now. Okay. Um, is this the only thing? Uh, no, actually. Uh, and he's going to draw one of his swords and hands it to her. Okay. As he draws one of his own swords. All right. About that nightly training, like I said. <laughs> and, this is, this, and this is when we begin. I'm just joking. It's late. Let's go back in. Oh, I was about to say nightly train as we begin happened? to fade out. <laughs> that was okay. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So, All right. as you get I this information, to... yes. Um, 
it. You also oh, have the nuts. Uh, uh -huh. Good night. Um, the the rat rat rat. God, I can't say his name. Dragon Boy. Rosagna. Yes. Rosagna. Whatever. He he is friends with the old man. Yes. Yes. That is what he said. Okay. Ragna. Let me say Rezekiel. Rezekiel. Um, the old man may be in danger. Oh. I see. There are some very. Well, for one thing, do you know the red crystal star? Yes. There is a, some near the forest making its way towards him. And as well as possibly a madman. So, I don't know if you can do anything to deal with that, but you're his friend. So, I assume you'd want to do something about that. I see. I, 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 there's only so much I can do. Uh, well, I know from the general orders that Inquisitor Heinrich is going to show up. Yes, I've heard of this. And when he shows up, we'll begin our investigation to head towards. He is currently near our location. Okay. And the old man is about about a three weeks worth journey away from here. Yep. I rather wait for the Grand Interrogator to be here. Okay, I oh I have an idea. I have an idea. Well, there's a way to in uh, uh, he, he 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 I cast sending. Oh, you can cast sending. I cast sending to uh, Lorraine already cast sending. Oh, that's what I was going to go ask her to do. Yes, she she has. She could, I was going to ask her if she knew the old man and she could tell, talk to the old man. No, she doesn't know about the old man. Shit. Okay, then never mind. Well, I don't... well. I gave him that information. I gave it vaguely. I did not tell him why I knew this stuff. Mm -hmm. So Sig is fine. I go back to working on seeing if I can figure out this rune. Okay. Um, so this is com This is now as we slowly come to the end of our session today. But I have a, uh, your options before you is. Quite interesting. Do you guys wish to do a time skip? Do you guys wish to do more investigate next session and such? So I can be... I am prepared for all results. But do you guys wait, want to wait for Grand Interrogator Heinrich to take, begin his investigation? Sure, I'll wait. I'm going to wait for him in order to do anything with uh, B, so... I I am I know I, what I'm going to be doing is trying to figure out how to keep B comfortable as well as how to maybe undo this rune. Uh, Ooh, Ferris can help with that. Mm -hmm. If Ferris would wish to help, and if anyone else has any information that may be helpful, Ferris likes the honey man. Yes, help with the honey man. Uh, I need to yeah, may I do something before we end? Yeah. Deeply will kind of just squeeze back out. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I love him. And then he's going to scramble over to B. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> scramble. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at me go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Halo again, B. Oh, you. Hello. You feel better. Well, uh... And, uh, B goes, we're very quiet. It's like, the only reason why I don't want to do my thing is that I don't want to be taken to a bad place. But... No, no, like, not as if he understands. Yeah, to everyone else. I'm like, I know, but you die. Well, I... Oh. I if I drink the honey, I'll, I'll be unconscious for a while. I doubt you didn't tell me this. I don't. I you. I don't. Know. She didn't, it, she uh, didn't trust. She didn't trust. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, but I'm quest, just... Question B. Mm -hmm. When you do sleep, do you need breathe? Yes. Yes. And in, in, in when you drink honey, you need breathe. Yeah. Oh. I suppose a, a, a decent yeah. amount of sunlight. I know you were planning. 
Oh, who knows? Uh, he'll just look away, and y'all hear the barfing sound again. And, he, okay. and then he turns back with a weird book. <laughs> mm-hmm. DM, they oh. see the book. Yes. Ooh. Book. This nice book. A book. A very interesting book. What you I know the book. I just start flapping through the book, looking for the, what I saw before. Mm-hmm. You know, I just thought of something that could work, but we don't have the proper materials. We had uh, a bag do I find holding. the page? Yes, you find the page. And the page, it says, if you guys kill the person that has cast this rune upon uh, B. He does the thing where he does thing like a kid finding something in a book they like. He finds it, turns it around in his hand, and juts it out to you guys to <laughs> see. But he does okay. not let go of it for you to take it. He eats his. <laughs> like, okay, let me. And she reads it. In the general description of it, the way to remove a rune, especially one that is this one, you could kill the person that has written the rune onto it. This person. Oh, okay, well, that seems like a bad idea at the moment. Yeah, we are. We are level one. We are not ready for that. The person he... that cast the rune is the person that refers himself as the torturer. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> yes. He he then eats the book again safely. I... Hey, where did you get that? Twenty-one book? HP. Uh, a doubly fine book with friend. Doubly <laughs> fine, big fat man friend. Okay, doubly. Well, you need to maybe next time ask before you take things. No. <laughs> no. 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 Dupli, dupli, no, no, la, dupli. All, all I can think of when I heard that no was from uh, King Fortress to meet the spy. <laughs> no. Well, the thing is, dupli's mind, he doesn't know laws. Well, no, no, she was explaining. It's just like, he, he, yeah, friends, no. The friends don't like dupli. You know, no, I know all stranger friend, dupli, take what seem good. Well, you and just then he scrambles back into the uh, pillow fort. Dupli, you cannot apply the double standard. He's already in the double. He's already in the pillow fort. He's Can't already in the double standards of the pillows. Can't hear you. At this point, he doesn't even need to transform. He just is vibing with the dragon. <laughs> Are you just... Your authority is not recognized in Fort Kickass. No, yeah, it's the whole yes. thing with Dupli. No, guys, the whole thing with Dupli. He used to be a mimic. He does not understand law. Yes, I know. Oh, I, I, do. oh I like that. I like that thing. I'm going to eat it and take it. Uh, yes, I know. And Silna Sil sees that this is a child, and she was trying to explain to no, a child. No. No. So if you have no. She, she realizes no. you have no concept of right and wrong. Nope. Remember, he used to eat adventurers yeah. daily. I yes. I'm aware. I, I I'm aware. I, I know this is pointless, but Silna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you think, the guys? How do you, you guys need to learn how he even became what he is? We have no idea. I'm not questioning it right now. Uh, Love how we have two Marty, uh, party members that eat people. Yes, we do. No, uh, no, there's a there's a story behind what how Dupli became this, and there might be people hunting him for that reason, but he doesn't know. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, hey, B, yes. B perks up and says, uh, "I will." B looks at. Uh, you very quietly she goes, I know I don't have my bodyguard still in this prison but I will drink the glow tree sap but oh, huh, miss me one thing yes. do not allow me to go with do not allow me to go to the where, where that demon woman is what is the de oh, uh, demon? Do you know, do you know who this? Um, not Silna. I am Silna. Strella, do you know who this demon woman is? No, I do not know who this demon woman is. Though I doubt uh, Grain Heinrich is not a demon of sorts. But one We're person that could be a demon that she is referring to, which is currently, is El. Is who? Eh. Oh, well. Her name is Lilith M.E.O., keeper of the Hell's Forbidden Sacrifice. To her. Okay, yes, that sounds like Demon Woman. Okay, we yes. keep you away from her. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I, I, I just. I just. Oh, <laughs> it's like. The point of. Too adorable the, for this world. Yes, you quite are. Literally. 
Okay, ducky. And I don't want to be taken away with her. Okay, well, I was not saying you will, I was not saying you to drink it now because you have some time if you do not want to drink it right now. Mm-hmm. I won't. I won't make you do it right now. But I am going to try to get this rune off without having to kill that man. And as she like kind of goes back to her sleep, and we, so, any uh, as we slowly pan out. Thank you for those who are listening today. As Caldemine's Red Snow Saga One. Good night. All right.